So the last game, you guys encountered your surviving members. They were dragged down by mutants to the lower levels. Um, they captured a patrolling squad planting bomb somewhere. Or you discovered it's a bomb now. And you also discovered there's a mode of blood. And you guys made a various plan. And... Who was doing something last time? Was it you, Yale Mug? Was I doing something last time? Yeah, devising. Someone was devising a plan last time we played. And I'm trying I, th to I think we were all devising a plan last time we played. I mean, there has to be later. But but I think the the idea was is on the way out. Are we we set the bomb in their uh, their so main blood pipe? So when they turn on the blood pipe or. A, let the blood flow into the where it needs to go. It hits the first bomb and blows it all up so it doesn't reach the rest of it. Okay. I guess more has something to do with the mud of blood or something. I don't remember. Well, yeah, because the yeah, mud of blood, they have to the feed the mud of blood into the pipe. Yep. Which then feeds to uh, all the other bombs that they've placed. But if we hit it right when they uh, that pipe opens. Okay. You know, that blood hits that bomb. Boom, it blows that up. No longer gets sent any of the other bombs. So you guys are going to go to the mode, uh, the, the pipe uh, here on this level? Or are you guys going to continue down and up and over? No, we need to hit the pipe uh, at the source. Yeah, the, the... Okay, so you need to hit the source. Because if we do it too low, then it... You know, the blood can still seep down, but if we do it high enough, it can, uh, well, not it only disrupt the blood finish. mode, but prevent it from going to where it needs to go. <clears throat> so they're uploading coordinates because they took, they took, uh, screenshots of everything. Screenshots? I didn't know they were not not the nav, not nav or nav. You know what I'm talking about pictures. Yeah, they're helms. Pretty sure they could take pictures, hel uh, all that stuff, upload the coordinates to you guys. They took a bunch of information, intel information, and, get, and see to give to you guys. We are uploading coordinates now of last location known of the pipe system. So, I, I have a question about this uh, pipe. Is the structural integrity of it sound? Asking them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they say it looks like they tell you it looks like it's under construction. They have an entire uh, armies defending it. So there's no like cracks or anything in it. Uh, they didn't see any on this level. Ah, so it's not a crack pipe then. Got it. Got it. No. <laughs> Obviously, it's a blood pipe. Come on. That's even worse. But yes, uh, there it'll take uh, some intel on it. Uh, what do you? What are you guys' plans? You guys planning to go to it? Planning to go to the lower levels? Because they they saw a way to there from where they're at, or at least to the entrance to the pipe area. How much uh, time do we have left until the fleets arrive? Three hours and 45 minutes. Okay. Do we have time for that, then? So I'm saying it needs to be either something we can get to on the way or hit on the way out. All right. Because if we can't do either or, then it's, we're at this point, it's, you know, make a decision. What brands are this? Like, this yeah. just delays them getting stuff. 
So it's a very secondary thing. Right. Um, whereas the librarians are still the primary goal. So if we can't get to the pipe, then I'm okay with that, as long as we can still get to the librarians and get them out. And if we can't hit the pipe on the way there or on the way back, then that's cool. Right. So you're asking the... Most, the mo Go ahead. Are we able to head to the librarians and then head back to the pipes and still have time to retreat and get picked up? Well, I'm going to... We can gate out. Hmm? So we can gate out. We can teleport out. We All just right. have to actually... You know... Oh, look at... You know... Crawl and um, spec up guardsman guy. And I go, is there a route that takes us through to that pipe location and towards where they're holding librarians or the main compound itself? Or is this like a separate route entirely? So are you asking the your squad or are you asking the lieutenant there? I'm I'm asking both. Like the the guy the the two the two trainees or whatever they are and him they can you know with their knowledge combined uh, find a route that can hit both locations you know so generally they tell you it, it, it would be off course um it's like on the opposite side of the complex so it's going to take more than likely 30 minutes 40 minutes to get there because of difficult terrain getting through various obstacles <clears throat> And there's still the fact of dealing with the army that's rounding the lo the location. They 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 kind of give you a heads up display of what they saw. So there's uh, some dreadnoughts, fixed gun installation, mm -hmm. and some uh, some demons surrounding the pipe as they're building it. And thousands and thousands of fanatics. Which are also sacrificing themselves into the pipe. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, right, that's generally so... the description they gave you. The other guy tells you that the elevator shaft they're going to is on the opposite side of where you guys are going. Not including combat time. That would give us two hours just to get there and back. Like, left. I think so we should probably hit it on the way guys. out then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. say if you're trying to if consider carrying, you might have to be carrying them out or like. Yep. Also, we're going to have to, you know, along the way, if we can find any totems, destroy them because it'll make getting out easier. Yep. Uh, because of, because the totems could very much just stop us from being able to teleport out. Yeah, so we so need to make sure we... we're not going to have any issues. I would say just go for the librarians. Yeah, as much of as great of a target as it is, we're not equipped to deal with both. It's choose one, and that's that's going to be our objective. Yep, I don't we, think we can establish we're unable to do both. Rev librarians hit any uh, totems we find, so that way we can actually get out, and then get out. And if we find an opportunity to be able to throw us a bomb in a blood pit, we do it. Now well, keep in mind, we're only talking about one section of the pipe. There could be some. Well, from what it was, this, the from what these people described it, it was a singular pipe that led to all the other bombs. I think we're getting target fixation on this pipe, though. Yeah. Let's that's, dis that's disregard and, and move on. So you can sabotage pipes. Yeah, I agree. Cool. Otherwise, we're not equipped, so don't even worry about it. We've yep. got intel on it, and we can, we'll pass that up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Find the opportunity along the way if we do it. Otherwise, we just keep moving. We know ground forces above are have started breaching into the city on I don't we don't know what side because the guardsmen don't know. 
Uh, no, no, it's as planned described, Northern. So they, you guys are definitely fulfilled in on where they're at currently. Oh, no, they didn't say. I was literally quoting what they said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, word for word, they said, we don't know what side. We're just coming through the outer walls. Right, so... What I was getting at there, though, is that means security is probably going to be bolstered down here. And as we head up, it might be a bit more intense as we get towards outer walls. It's the other side of... We have three and a half hours. We should probably start looking for the librarians. Yep. Searching for librarians, we start now. Yes. Yeah, uh, the um, the lieutenant is leading you up up down in, into the hive city and then over a bit and then up the main elevator uh, access shot into that facility. Because they, they built it on top of an old administrative, administrative building, they tell you. Right on top. Um, and there's a secret access elevator that you guys can take into that. Because he's taken it and uh, got in there as far as he could get. All right, I'll well, just head for the let's, elevator then. Let's head out. Agreed. Torian, right? Okay. I was trying to remember his name. That's it. All right. He tells you it's going to be to the left here. <clears throat> There'd be their left from the models. Not on screen, if that makes sense. So. And who we... Virlo, you're stuck up there still. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'll move you, Karen. If you're unable to. I can't see anything happening. Yeah, dear. We're progressing towards tunnels now. Hulk, Hulk. Yeah. Hulk, I, I, I gather that. What I said is, it's I have such a shitty connection. I physically right. can't see changes. Hey, give me a minute. I sure. also am staring at a black screen trying to find shit. So yeah, like, yeah. We, we, we are telling you what is visually occurring. Not That's not what I'm saying, okay? You're I know what you're ignoring. saying, you're, but no, you're no. also not hearing what I'm saying. We're, we're describing to you what's happening because you can't see it. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, you got mad again. Yeah, whatever. Oh well. Just roll with you it. You can't see it. That's why we were explaining. Yeah. Yeah, one thing that uh, I've found I have to do every session is uh, zoom all the way out. And then find... Oh, yeah where the part of the map is lit up and then zoom all the way back in. Yeah, Road 20 doesn't really center on the, like, the visible position. Kind of oh, thing. man, what Boko could do at the start of a session is just do that ping, like, that focus oh, ping yeah, thing. That, that focus ping, yeah. Forces oh, everyone's yeah. Uh, point of view straight to the uh, to the spot where we're supposed to be at. That'd yeah. be amazing. Yeah.
Are we uh, waiting on something? Yeah, Buck, go ahead and step out for a second. Oh. Gotcha. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Alright, I'm done. Magnificent. Can you hear me? Yep. Now we can, okay. yes. No, okay. No. I was talking I was talking I was like, hey, I'm back, guys. I had to feed the doggies. So All right. Um, that's Norsk uh Norsk sent me a message. He said that uh his web page is reloading. Ten four. Because of his internet and shit. His internet being shit. <laughs> it's just chaos forces messing with him right at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> And you guys play Factorio? I know you test, but play a Yomug? No. Ah. Oh. It's a game like Rap Your Alley. It's not at all. Is it because of the graphics? No, it's just not my kind of game. That really likes building a factory. I remember I ruined Factorio for Moth because uh, I tore up our entire factory and then rebuilt it again, but like... Right. While and, we were trying to do the speedy build achievement. Yeah, but we got the achievement. Yes, but we would have gotten it in five minutes if you hadn't ripped the thing apart. It took you an hour to rebuild everything. You didn't want to do the achievement on um, that, lo that looking base. I understand. Why would you do a PvP game, right? Chaos versus order here. No, 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 no. I'm I'm specifically talking about like back in 2016 or 2017, Moth and I were going for the getting on track like a pro achievement. Yeah. yeah. And uh, after that, Moth never played Factorio ever again. So. It is discouraging to play with you. Yes. Who me? Yes. Yeah. Just uh, being honest. But but one you know, thing we'll spend four hours building up defenders or helping you out the next day we come. It's like a f you. I don't like what you did. Oh, those four hours were wasted. <laughs> well, that's but, that's the perception people get. Yes, I understand, I understand what you're doing. Yeah, I, I understand what you're doing. It's fine. Yeah, but like, there's one kind of overarching theme of Factorio, and. Well, first of all, automation, logistics, but beyond that, like, the meta is every once in a while, you just have to tear up your entire factory and rebuild it again to be better, more efficient. Uh, I get it. Some people don't give a shit about efficiency. Mm -hmm. Well, then, uh, Besides, I guess... Factory... why would you ever replace when you can just expand? Yeah. Uh, there's several reasons. Territory, nah. go big. You could just make a separate factory that's more efficient than the first one. Nothing. Like, huh. That's exactly you what can. I do. Then you have twice as the resource protection. Boom. Easy. You can, but that decentralizes everything and that fucks with your production chain. So Not like you end up you end up having just... you end up having one factory that is not tied to anything else, so you you're only using that for uh, 
like one thing and then you have like it, yeah. it's just easier overall to have um like one centralized factory and then like if you really you. need to you can have a distribution center right anyway are we gonna move down this tunnel or what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was waiting for uh karen or whatever to come back might still be loading discord just because he's in chat doesn't mean he's in chat you know <laughs> He is loaded in a roll twenty at least. Hey, he moved his character, I think. I didn't move it, so yeah. Nice. Mr. Apparently Robot we're robotic Doc. as fuck. Hell yeah. Mr. Ello Roboto, Ello Wagato. Anyone gonna do a perception check? Um oh, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. And uh, Is it yellow awareness or just yeah. awareness or perception. Remember your plus awareness. 20. Awareness. Awareness. Plus 20. Damn. Yep. Oh, 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 good. Well, the 20 is for being a space marine. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, your helmet and just you being a space marine. Man, so. I rolled an 87 and succeed. If I'm at plus 20, then I can't fail. Hold up. So you're doing... Let me get the mutant here. I'm trying to remember what the hell he was called. Oh. It was just Trap Master. Yep. You guys see him. You guys... Oh, that's... Well, I don't know why I had a Victorian, but yeah, the, you see the trap master. Except for Eric Lady. He sees nothing. Yep. I also see nothing. There's Dominating. a thing there. Yep. And Karen Dominating. also sees nothing. Yep. I paint yep. targets. Yep. Uh, so you guys can make a surprise round because this thing is in hiding, waiting for something. All right. Waiting for a bullet to the brain. I can end this guy, I think. I'll just charge it right up to that guy and do my thing. Uh, minus or 30. Or you can shoot him. Uh, I guess you can shoot him first. Since yeah, minus, minus 30, by the way. Oh. Uh, That's still one hit. Well, it's two hits, hits actually. Yeah, okay. You still well, hit. it's a single shot weapon, so it's one yeah. hit. Still hit. Yep. Do your damage. I did. Oh, uh, he's, I believe, let me see. I be and it does pen 14. Mm -hmm. let, me look, let me look at stats again. I think he's dead. That is a uh, an arm, I believe it hits. If it matters. Let's see. Arm? That does matter. <laughs> You actually hit him in the, the hardest armor they have, oh. which is torso, arms. Uh, he has 27 armor, so minus 14. We're bringing down a 13 armor. So you did... 10 damage. Yeah. yeah 10 damage. So it's hit minus 10. Um, yeah, okay. Hey, uh, Boko, real quick. Uh, I don't think North is going to be able to play on his connection. Understood. Today. Uh, so... So, North, we're going to have... If you can hear me, we're going to have your character go into a... You can always category. type it. Oh, he's off of World 20 as well. Okay. Yeah, he says he can't hear you guys, so... You can just type it. We have the real Death Watch voices. Probably. I'd imagine it's more uh, train conductor. You two <laughs> motherfuckers. Oof. Well, now I got a jetpack around. Somebody's in a foot. 
Okay. Uh, who else can do damage? Is you, Dan, well, right? I... Uh, Our dude? I want to use, use the melta. I mean, uh, I will wait for you to do your thing first. Do your thing. Yeah. Well, minus, minus, uh, minus 30 to hit this guy. As you're getting plus 30 because he's unaware, and you painted the target, so... Or they, these two painted the target. So you know generally where he's at. How far is this guy? Oh, I can do additional 1d10 damage. All right, so what was the... Minus 30. Minus 30? And then you can do add apply your bonuses. You're probably going to get some good hits on Half this Half range, so negative 10, then base plus 20. So 10 plus 10 overall, I think. Okay, yeah, he's probably super dead. Yeah, he's super dead. Boom! <laughs> okay. And that's a oh, he's dead, dead. <laughs> he only had, yeah, they, they, everything you're fighting usually only has, I gave it 20 wounds on aggregate. Usually. not. I'm sure you notice not everything is that. Hey, yeah, uh, you guys doing awareness? Didn't we already do awareness, or are we doing it again? Another one. Okay. There's, a, there's another one. I'll have there's another. And another one. And another. One. I'll have another one. Oh, I God barely damn. beat him. <laughs> barely beat him. <laughs> okay, you, or is that? I meant to do. Is that hey, not the disguise? Oopsie poopsie doopsie. Wrong one. Don't worry, guys. That's a regular human. I meant that I hit the, yeah. I meant to hit that. Are you sure about Nobody that? Sees him now. Yes. Hold up. Are you sure about that? Yeah. jeez. Oh, what was the last concealment then? Plus zero. Oh, it got a 96. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. He really effed up. And this guy's getting a plus 30 because the way he's setting up his arrangement of the trap. So... Okay. He's both stealth because of the warp and because he's hidden under rubble. He's very... He's a very stealthy, stealthy, stealthy boy. Oh, proceed. It's all, it's all good. Does anyone see him? No. Nope. Nobody sees him. What okay. are you talking about? There's something there. So, let me see. As soon as someone gets within 30... Which would be Karnoth. He is going to lay do his trap. So right. he's going he is going to throw his spear at you. How original. Yep. Very he primitive. Did a shit ton of damage if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by it. Yeah. So what's the be... modifier in the dodge again? There was like a uh, oh, modifier right. because um, you're unaware. It's a plus 10. You roll twice and you pick the better. For the unaware thing? Or... So if the unnatural Jody bonus I was giving everybody. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. You're, you can do that, right. Uh, was it like a minus 30 to, uh, to dodge? Or what was the modifier to dodge? Minus 30. Just all right. Because it's a trap. So, and then plus all whatever bonus this moth was telling you about your advantage. All right. So I'm going to do this first. And I'm going to do... Take the oh. higher of the two. I don't really need to. But I'll I'll do it anyways. Well, you got three point... Oh, yeah. 3.7. He dodges. Yeah. Oh, even yeah. better. He dodges everything. Yeah, and you can have a counterattack with a 5.2. You're going to take a minus 60 penalty. But you at least can do something. I mean, I just I simply dodged. I that's just like dodge on the play. No, I'm <laughs> giving with the five point two. I will give you a weight counterattack to where it came from. All right. So I'm able to counterattack from uh, from where I'm standing. Yeah. 
You All can't. Right. Can you, or can you? I don't. I know. I don't. I. I cannot counterattack a ranged weapon or like kind of. Oh, a ranged pick up a spear, throw it back at him. I could try that. <laughs> That's kind of technically catch, ballistic skill. Catch it midair and just reroute it. My ballistic skill is thirty-seven. <laughs> I don't think I can succeed here. Give it a shot. Can I, can I just? Is it possible I could take the spear and throw it at him? Are you near him? I don't think you are. Looking at not the really. Mm -mm. Well, I guess. Uh, Very close, though. Mm. Okay. I cannot succeed you'd have to, if I roll. <clears throat> you'd have to do. I guess you can do an agility check there, Dominagus. And then a minus sixty to your throwing the spear. So. All right. So uh, is it neutral then? Zero. Neutral uh, for and and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You succeed just barely. You get to the spear and you pick it up. So minus sixty. Uh, should I just do ballistics? Yeah, it's a ballistics check. Oof. Oh well. So it goes wide and it sticks in the wall. Where you where where you thought the guy was, it just went ping. Yep. I was thinking more like uh You wanna hey. fade point you wanna fade point it? Or do you wanna just like let it be? Just kinda let it be. I was thinking it would be right here. I don't know. I don't know if you see my crime. Yeah, well, I imagine your guy moved up, and then that that does make sense right there. Yeah. But also, that makes sense, too, because you're trying to shoot generally at this area, so ping, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So you're not in combat, per se, yet you still have some actions you guys can do. Can a librarian mm -hmm. react to this? Yeah. Here, Heidi's you up. All right. Sweet. Uh, still there. So. Oh. Can I see him now that he's thrown stuff? Do you, do you have that um thing? I, mean, I got I got sign of science. Yeah. Do that. Reaction. Oh, right. maybe you're like, oh, I don't know. He must be uh, using some other bullshit. I don't know. Let me just, let me just go ahead and do. Uh, He's so hidden. A fake <laughs> you did say there. he was hiding normally under rubble too. He was. And all. Oh, so he's so he's not using any warp powers then. He is. He was. He's using both. He's warp powering but... under the rubble. Okay. okay. You know. Now you I see him. You pinpoint exactly where he's at. He's in the he's in that rubble. And you Sweet. see, you can actually make a slight outline of him. So, do your thing. Uh, then I charge, and I'm gonna attack. Sweet. No penalty. With that degree of success, there's no penalty. You, you're like, I see you, asshole. <laughs> he's been shot at, so that means I do get a gang up bonus. Damn, I hit him. Okay. Where do you hit him? Uh, 71. Big. Okay, he has no armor there. Okay, do you damage? And describe how you kill oh, this guy. Sorry, it's the first one. And he's still um, dead. Either one kills him, because you hit him where he literally has no armor. Uh, I take the stick, and then I just uh, remove his leg. Or better yet, because it's the Psycho Reaper, a force sickle appears out of the end of it, and I just cut his leg off with it. Awesome. And blood spews everywhere. Because, you know, you cut the femur. Just starts gushing out everywhere. Absolutely. All over the place. An, un an unseemly amount of blood just goes everywhere. Corn would be happy if we were doing corn things, but... It's like the Kill Bill gratuitous amount where they just put a turn of the black and white and then just spray uh, water. Okay. Right. As the blood, that's what happens. It's a uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. 
Well, no, because in Kill Bill, they had to uh, change how they did stuff because they ran out of blood. Uh, they ran out of fake blood while shooting it. So they shot some scenes in black and white in order to uh, obscure the fact that the liquid that was spraying out of people weren't wasn't fake blood. It was just like water. Oh, oh nice. And then they changed to an anime style because, again, they, they didn't have enough blood. Although I think that one was more choice, style choice than... Hey. Out of blood choice. But all the black and white scenes were done because they ran out of blood. How do I keep rolling this? Oh my god. Six point. How many times have you get how many times did you get a uh, six point nine? This is like the second time for awareness and <laughs> I did like one for intimidation as well. No, my side is roll twenty and three let me know so. exactly where these people are. Mm -hmm. In my immediate area, so I should know that there's a guy right there. Right. So I, and I shouldn't have to make the roll like, you know, every few feet we move. No, but the, uh, how, what's the range of your size science? It's like a kilometer. Okay. So you would see this guy. I don't know how far your science science was. Yeah, I, I can check again, but no, it's not like visual step. It's like I know things. Uh, for, for a good distance. Okay. So we got in that one. Got it. So you know generally where this one's at. And you know generally where this one's at. You... Performer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> so is he able to... Plus move? 100. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave himself a plus 100 to the roll. That's funny. Okay, what is that? Oh, hold up. That's not a real Performer. Deal. I don't uh, think it's doing what I was thinking it's doing. Per performer is a skill. And then hibernation would be like the subset of what that is for performing. Uh, what's the guy? went into sleep mode. Role? Hey, so what are you guys doing with this guy? You guys generally know where he's at with uh, Yale Mug's help. Okay. We're about uh, to describe how we kill him. That's what we're going to do with him. Also true. Yeah, because his range is only um, 30 meters. So. I can take the first shot. Sure. See, that's also half range and baseline plus 20. Yeah, Half range also plus twenty, so yeah. plus forty total. Any minus, weirdness? Um, minus minus. Uh, well, this guy, he's also concealed in some trash, and he's doing something different than the other ones. Minus sixty as you shoot this guy. Oh, uh, so I'll be minus twenty in total. But plus five mm. from our link. Okay. Well, well, uh, you got it. You got it. I got him, him still. Ooh, Ooh two plus guy. tens. Wait, where where do you hit him? Ah, uh, fifty-one, I think. Fifteen. No, fifteen. That's right, uh, right arm. Yeah, it's an arm again. Okay, so even with the even with his armor, you're getting through. Yeah, he he moved ever so slightly, saw it seeing some type of movement. You just and saw my motion. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and my motion predictor saw that. And I took a shot, and the debris, and and that entity has disappeared. It's been turned into dust. It's a mutant, so it's human-ish. Still an entity. Yeah, to you guys, it's it's it's, it's whatever. All right, seed forward. You mentioned there was a contact on the right side. Right, so Dominagus, are you prepared now? Are you popped around that corner? He is going to get a hit on you, though. I'm not, uh, I'm kind of right here, right at the corner. Okay, so you're not popping around the corner precisely? Okay. Not precisely. All right. Well, I, well, I am trying to uh, see if there's something there. Okay. So as you peek your head around, I'll give you I'll give you 
bonuses for that. And then the thing is, like, so he'll take a minus 20 in the shot. Minus 20 on the shot. It uh -huh. fucking hits you. All right, so dodge. You can dodge it. Uh, do I have any modifiers with that? Do I have that uh, plus 10 thing? I forget what it's yeah, called. Yes. Yeah, minus 30 since it's out here when he's set up. Because Lily was waiting for someone to come by the door. And it's the first thing he saw. Well, it was peeking too. Exactly. He's just waiting for anything. So as you peek your head around, a spear is coming right at your head. So you are just able to dodge your head back, pull it back as this thing impacts, because you would have taken, had that spear did its damage, you were taking that much damage. <laughs> right to the head, god damn. Right. Well, technically, a hundred's a leg, but let's not go into that. Yeah, yeah. But you see that spear, as it impacted where your head was, you saw it just shear right through, go through the wall, and into the ground and disappear. It's just like it disappears because it goes through the ground. It penetrates it. So you're like that thing would have made me uber dead. All right, uh, you guys can retaliate against it because you now know where it's at. How do I uh, try to figure out how to remove paint? Huh? Uh, click it. Yeah, so okay. you spent your action reacting to getting the spear thrown out. So anyone else that's nearby can react to what just happened. You literally okay. used all your energy to dodge, not die. I'm a shooter. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, oh, my boss! Will that have killed you? This just pissing my uh, suit a little damage bit. damage with 30 penetration? I... Yes. I think, yeah. I, think I pissed a little. <laughs> 30 <laughs> penetration, anybody. that's ignoring all Every of your armor. Of armor. Yep. Unless you're hitting, like, Dan, because Dan has more than 30 armor on some parts of his body, but even then, that would be deadly. Right, so... Uh, Yellbuck's character knows that thing was highly painted by warps and shit. That stuff, that spear would have also killed me, by the way. Okay. Pretty sure that spear would have killed everybody. Yeah. Luckily, they only have one. They can. Ch it's a set and forget, and you took your minus. Even with the minus, he's fucking dead. Alright, describe how you killed this thing. Or where did it hit? Actually, That's a leg. Thing? Oh, yeah, okay, so describe how you kill him, because he's dead. Shoot his leg off. He dances around without it, falls over dead. Yep, <laughs> you guys you guys just see him, jump, basically, like he's describing, dancing in blood, ah, <laughs> collapse over. I'm going to go back and just uh, make sure Karen is actually following the group. So I can realize we're not too this. Realize we're not moving his token along, but I just want to make sure that we don't. No, no, no. Uh, in RP, forget him. So I'm just going to make sure he's only still with the group. We're not forgetting him. He's his character went to a catatonic state. Right. So I just want to make sure that even in his catatonic state, he's still moving with the group. Yeah. Sure. Okay. The power of God, we're, we're not going to leave our fellow breaks. brother behind. Well, I was going to leave him there, like he's just staring at the ceiling, like uh. Uh, North oh. was. North was telling me that I can uh, control his character for him. Okay, cool. If he wanted me to give him uh, control. <laughs> yep, that's fine. He snaps Drools. out of it. All right. Come on, big boy. This way. That's right. Nope, that's a wall. Right. <laughs> that's another wall. <laughs> there, there you go. No, no. Put put your Monk. turret down. Put your turret away. Dog it up, boy. <laughs> right. Shutting drill. 
Oh, I could pull a ratatouille and sit on his shoulders and <laughs> direct him around. <laughs> yeah, you could. Where are we going? That's like one of the only movie references that you've made that I actually got. You've Talk actually involved. seen a movie? Yes, I've seen a movie. Okay, and he tells you this way. And you're getting reports, by the way, Yell Mug, from the other Death Watch team up above. Uh, the position has been compromised, and they had to relocate the ship. Great. That's bad. God damn it. Hang on, I gotta blow out my mouse. we have your coordinates whenever uh, we pop out, it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, We're getting full. <laughs> Yeah, let me do some rolls because they're they're on the move right now. So give me one second. One. Hey, uh, Boca, are you able to give me control of uh, North? I already Ter did. No, you didn't. You don't have control. Nope. Yeah. I, I do not have control. Just because he has view of the character sheet does not mean he has control. Okay. Of the token. Yes, but I can still move. Tests his uh, character. Okay, so they okay. they they yeah. inform you that they've taken some heavy flak damage. They're able to relocate, but their stealth ability on that vessel is compromised. Um, so they've taken cover a little bit more south, not too far, not too much further south. But they they're able to find a uh, canyon of some sort to hide their vessel. Cool. That's uh, fine. Second can... mode of blood. Just I can pop this out 120 kilometers away, so we're good. Right, they're only they only went about like um, 30 clicks south. They had to they had to pull out because they're getting like artillery struck. They're just <coughs> they described to you. Yeah. So. yeah. And they did take like I said some flak damage, so. And you're gonna give uh, test control of uh, the big yeah, ones yeah, back. yeah yeah I'm doing it right now. There right we now. go. I got him. I'm not using a catatonic state, so what do you do? And let me progress the battle too. I haven't done that in a while, so. They have forced the chaos forces into the final stronghold that you guys are now assaulting. They've forced them pretty much. They they push them off keel. So. Hey, you guys want to see the funny rotate? <laughs> nice. Then let me get the trap master. See, let me actually going to do oh. this little formation here. Yeah, you see him off. Wow, he rolled bad. He did. Uh, the 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 void <coughs> is not as is not on his side. Nope. But it but uh, he tells you we need to go this way to the right. Why do I just take this guy out real quick? You can. Cause these guys just sit there. They they wait for prey. And they hunt it. They. It doesn't look like they have very good eyesight or intelligence. Were you guys gathered fighting these things? Yeah, he's super dead. Yeah, I was in the head too. He had no armor there. And he tells you that's new. He points to here. Not the red squiggly line. You mean the red chalk outline? Did a giant die in these corridors? No. Wolski. No, the, void the giant. No, the giant volume of blood. He said that's new. <laughs> Is it oozing from the walls and the ceiling? 
Uh, you're asking him? I'm He's... looking at the blood. Okay, so, no, it's coming from this pipe over here. I don't know if you, uh, you, you can't see that, can you? Or get nope. closer? Mm, so it looks like they've already activated their shit. Cool. Okay. They don't probably need to hurry up. Quick, well, somebody what if we make just a building. Drop the bomb here and then keep moving. What if it blows up before we're done? Yeah. It was I mean, it was an instantaneous thing, um, from what you gathered. I didn't say drop it in the blood, I just said drop it here. Oh, okay. Yeah, like how fast right. is the blood moving, you know? Uh so you're actually analyzing the blood, so it looks like it's pouring out of that pipe so fairly rapidly if you're you know if you're to stay here you'd probably be flooded out yeah but i mean right. like, time wise like how long would it take you know to reach like this point over here which point the other side of the just oh different uh way. do an intelligence check is your or let's see let's see what, what let's Let's see what kind of check your guy can do to make a discernment of like how long it would take him. Logic. That'd be a good one. Logic or let's see what's another one you have. I'll gladly just do a straight intelligence check. Or an intelligence check. Logic or intelligence is fine. I just succeeded. You know that just looking at the blood, looking at the rate it's pouring at, maybe maybe ten minutes to get to that other side there. Oh, jeez. All right. It is pouring out. So. Do we know how far we are from um, where we need to be? Oh, uh, yeah. So. He's the entrance point to the next level is over this way. Okay. So he tells you there's two more levels we have to go down. So he said we have to go way down, and then there's a access tunnel, and then there's going to be the access shaft that goes all the way up. So we're we're still about two levels from from target. So we're two levels down, two more levels to go, and then you're there. And he says it okay. only gets more crazy and dangerous down below. And you see him uh, hold up a hand to order, basically tell you to stop, and he's going, giving you, this, giving you a signal and pointing in a direction. Are we going to have to uh, discern his hand signals then? Yes. Like we did before? Yep. All right. I will try that. I'm going to roll for, would that be tactics or would it be war lore? War lore. All right. Plus 30. Plus 30? All right. Yeah, I Mul succeeded. Multiple targets in that direction. Holy shit, I rolled a four. <laughs> He's basically indicating multiple targets acquired in, uh, I also in a Holy direction. Shit. Yeah, you guys know automatically what he's talking about, that there's a big group of men on the other side over here. He's able to just peek around those... around these crates here. He's able to peek around it, and he's able to make multiple contacts. Because he's literally pawing every corner he's going around. He's being stealthy as possible. He's using all his sensors he has on him. They're not as good as yours, but he has stuff. And he basically informs you, these guys weren't here before. I don't wonder what they're up to. Is the only way through? Yes. Cool. Well, chances are they probably have a bomb on them. We need to kill them. Hey. Okay. And we need to get through. So, you know, win win. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's going to start the rodeo? All right, everybody. You can stealth oh, into a good position, do it, and then we'll trigger them. Yeah. It's currently they're unaware of you guys' presence. I'm assuming you guys are silently moving. 
at all time. Yes. Well, yeah, 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 but well, you're, you're extra silently moving now. I hate to break it to you, but what? I'm missing a foot and I you're can't on, You're on walk. Karen's shoulder, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, you're using his shield as a pelling cube. <laughs> that's right, you lost a foot last engagement, uh -huh. huh? So I'm either flying around in a jetpack hovering around or... Huh. Can I'm in a place where I can't choose a position. I was carrying you nonstop. Yeah. Yep. By the way, I'm on Discord, so on my phone, so I can hear now. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, it's like the only way I could hear, because I was getting the third of every syllable. Oof. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. I presume our psycho needs to do his uh, area of effect abilities first, and then... The rest of you can take it away, and then I'll support whatever. I try to aid with whatever I can after. Okay. Uh, then I will try and sneak my way into. Would I be able to draw line of sight from here to them? Yeah, because uh, like I okay. said, the word. Well, I didn't know if like if this was a large enough thing to block line no, of sight no, no. or something. You're Right there, this top crate is blocking, but you can see just... I mean, with you, you definitely can see. Yeah. You can perfect. definitely see everything. Excellent. So everything's that corner, so this is... Easy, so. All right, so... What are you doing? What is What nonsense are you doing now? Okay. Me? N no. Oh. I'm just gonna let everybody know that I need to act semi-last because if I do this, I'm gonna push, which means we're all gonna go in the darkness. Oh yeah, yeah. So good. get your shots off first. I'll be the last one to act, and then I pop it. We'll be in darkness, so they won't be able to see us to return fire. And all you right. can move out and you know do better things. So, all right. So uh, get them Boko, first, and then I'll do it. Okay. Sorry, f sorry, I kept interrupting you. I thought you were done. Uh, oh, you're good. So, uh, Boko, I'm going to have Krom do a silent move to take point and get into a position closer to them, but still in cover. Uh, he's so a big boy, so he's going to have, he can probably sneak up, like, to where the other guys are at. Anything past that, he's going to be seen. What's the uh, modifier? Minus 30, since you're such a huge effing boy. Dog, dog, silence. Oh, for he's, some reason... He's tiptoeing. He's okay, that was, there. that was from Crom's sheet, but I forgot to switch to Crom in the chat, so that's legitimate. No, I get it, I get it. But as I can just imagine a big, giant mechoid tiptoeing like a cartoon character over to where it needs to be. <laughs> I'm guessing this box is still in cover. That would be exposing you. Oh, okay. You would be super exposed. Like I said, the furthest you can go is up here. Oh, damn. All right. Without being seen. That is, this, is the furthest. You're, is this good? you're so big. Yeah. All right. Prom's uh, like, what, 10 feet now? You said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That top <laughs> box doesn't obscure your sight at all. You can really hide behind it. Prom has the duck. Yeah. Where You're he's at crouching. now, he's tiptoeing and yeah, and he's crouching and he's setting up, up his arm so you can take an aim shot if you wanted to, whatever you're gonna do. All right, I'm also well, going to do another silent move for Virlo. What's the modifier on Virlo's silent move? Thirty. Minus thirty. Or minus twenty. Minus twenty. Sorry. Minus twenty. Okay, I got that. And then I don't know who wants to control the trainee here. They're covering uh, your guys at six, so they're just kind of is using, controlling them. Yeah, they're aiming. They're aiming down back behind you guys and covering your guys at six as you guys engage. And then, dude, what were you gonna do? Well, I think um, as soon as we're ready to shoot, I'm gonna aim in such a way that you miss. No. <laughs> I'm uh, roll twenty is not working with me right now. Come on, are there you it. aiming at, at like the the beefy boys, or are you aiming at the father? Right here, so I can get four of them 
the Molta bomb or the Molta cannon is five meter uh, radius, right? Then you probably should uh, try to get. Is it blast guys. five? I don't have a board. It is. I could probably hit three of the beefy boys then. Yeah, I can hit him. But if I get closer to here, oh, I can. It's bare. It's at fifty meters, so I can probably do additional one D ten. Let me mark that box because there is a box that would obscure your line of sight. Um, this one right here. So that I have a question. Like taller than you. Does Crom still have vortex grenades? He I has have... one inside his suit, and that's in case he needs to blow himself up. Ah. I have the eight. other two were given to yeah. I gave the rest of it to Eric Ladies because it wouldn't fit in the suit. Got it. Um. So uh, I think that target-rich environment out there is prime for a fucking vortex grenade thrown right in the middle of them. What do you guys uh, think? I'd rather use my. I think I brought range. other grenades. Uh, let's it's see. only like a three meter radius, so it's only. Didn't somebody bring a? Yeah, vortex grenade is more about making something important disappear. Virulent ah, okay. So. And one of the trainees has a missile launcher. Like those tiger guys you're fighting. Yeah, that's why we used it on that. It's like, we need this going right now. Got it. Yeah, like that. Or like if you need to throw radius. it at the Titan's leg. All right. Yeah, so this would be the radius of the uh, Vortex explosion. I think y'all can see my thing. Yeah, at and, most you can get like three. And this is what I can hit with my powers. Ah, I see. You All should right. probably aim your so, powers at the harder targets. Uh, well, the smaller targets are more likely to pin their armor and actually kill them off. Oh, I thought you ignored armor. No, no, I still have to pin armor. Gotcha. By the way, yeah, uh... I'm more likely to do stuff to the actual Space Marines than the big guys in the back. By the way, Norsk, um, I'm not sure if your connection will allow it, but I am streaming. Uh, two on my phone, yes. I'm staring at it on a nice little tiny screen. Which is better than nothing. Yeah, alright. Alright, all right, so I would like to do a silent move to be round right here. Uh, measurement. Round right here. So what would be the uh, bonus if I do a silent move to there? You have no cover out there, remember? I thought this is my cover. No, he marked the boxes to give his cover with the truck. Yeah, the, the no, no, the uh, obscure vision. The other boxes will give you cover. Uh, the smaller guys, it will not give cover to the um, big guy. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, because yeah, we have two Crom different can't sizes. Get in there, the rest of you can. Yeah, the rest of you, if you crouch, you can easily use these boxes as cover and pop out and do what you need to do. They these two boxes obscure your vision, like yeah. Uh, in fact, I could probably just go to dynamic lighting and then draw shape, and then I'll just do that. So better. Mm -hmm. There yeah. you go. Anyways, I was thinking of doing silent move here, here at this corner of the box, or move it a little bit further. And if you go further, you're gonna take a minus forty uh, at this point and minus thirty at this. All right. To not get aggro. We don't want to aggro these guys. <laughs> so we're in minus a, he uh... says rolling a negative five. You are you going to fate point that? Yeah. I can lend you. Oh fate yeah, I also have mind. that. I have also have. I I I'm using mine. Your single <coughs> one yet? Yeah. Hold up. I also have the plus 10 thing from Ilmog, I think. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, that's minus 20, and then plus 10 thing, so minus 10. What? Oh, jeez. He rolled a 90 fucking 9. And we're going to give him a funny. Uh, I'm giving point him or... a fade point. I would love. 
to roleplay that. You can have my fate point. Can't Shut you up get and take my fate point. <laughs> you went from a 99 to a 3, the duality of man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and I'll... Oh, there's uh, another squadron. We're up north. They're the same as the guys in the front. Oh. <clears throat> so there's about two, four, six, eight guys. Uh, more, eight more guys to the top. They're not the orange guys. There's, uh, they're the weak guys. Right, another group of the small dudes. Yeah. Disregard. So, I'm just sizing up. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait until everyone else is in position, but I'm getting ready to aim the about the mid guys. So the plan for me is to aim in such a way that I can hit at least three of them with my multi shots. What's your uh, blast on the multi melta? I think it's five meters. Is it? Well, I'm saying I think. Uh, you can check if you go under, if you look at the special attributes. So if it's like blast parentheses three, then it would be three meters. And is that the radius or the diameter? I'm guessing I'm it's radius. I think it's, uh, uh, radius. Yeah, I think it's a radius around the target you hit. Okay. Hold up, I need to open the, the document. I don't think you can aim the multi melt at the ground. I don't think that's how it works. Whatever it hits, it has a um, blast radius based on that. Yeah. So there's no reason you couldn't aim at the ground. Yeah. Okay. It just says wherever it hits, it has a three meter radius or whatever it is. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm just right now. I'm just trying to figure out how far, how much, how what. I'm trying to figure out the blast radius. And I need to go through the book for that. And uh, once you do find the... Mm -hmm. Blast radius on the multi melta. You can add it to your special. That way, you don't have to uh, dig through two. the book. Is it two? Uh, it's two. Firestorm. It's two meters. Yep. In radius. Uh. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, that's. Uh, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. I mean, you are using a weapon that's designed to hit one target and not multiple targets. Well, this this is just a doozy, man. Right. I mean, Whatever you can always does pick one guy off. Could disappear. I can I can pick two guys off here, so I can do one shot, two hits. Yeah, but which guys have the most armor? Because you want to be attacking the armored targets with your uh, yeah. Melta. You should probably be aiming at the dudes back here with the melta. All right. Right. All right. Then oh, jeez. And now hit the closest guy to us, the heavily armored person. Uh, whenever we are ready to attack, if someone fumbles, then I fire my shot as a uh, All right. ambush opportunity. So in that case, I'm going to line up a shot on this guy. And I'm going to do a called shot to the head. Is everybody in position? I think so. I'm in position. I've got Krom in position. Well, I should probably do the same thing, cold shot. Is that a penalty of 20, negative 20? I think it's a minus 10. Do you have to perk? It depends it on... The depends cost, on if yeah. you're aiming for more than one turn. Uh, normally it's minus 20, but if you aim... That's gonna, that'll give, like, if you aim for half a turn, that's plus 10. If you move aim for a full turn, that's plus 20. So it negates your uh, negative on that, then. Negates I'm your planning, negative. I wasn't, I'm not planning to aim. 
Well, so. aiming takes a full turn, and since we're ambushing them, why why would you not? Okay. So that's... Did you say it was plus 20? Additional when aiming? Yeah. A aiming is a plus 20. Called shot is a minus 20. Gotcha. Which so cancels out. Flat zero, but are you within half distance? Because you can get a bonus for yeah. that, too. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I'm aiming the auto? bottom left. Uh, this thing does not auto. fall out. Okay, okay. This thing does not have it. I can do single fire two shots. If I understand that correctly. Two shot burst, then. So if you roll high enough, then you can get two shots off. Yeah. So I'm just Sorry. doing this preemptively. Okay. God damn. Rolled a four. <coughs> and that's going to be at uh, this guy right here. So are we doing our surprise round attacks now? Yep. No. Uh, yep. Is everyone, hold up. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, so uh, I'm guessing this guy is not going to have, like, a reaction because it's mm -hmm. a surprise round. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, all right, here we go. Since you already rolled, Tess, I'll let you go first. Where'd you hit him? Head. It's called oh. shot. <sighs> this guy right here. And I'm nine. I think we only had ten on the head. Let me double check their armor. And it's uh, felling times one, so it ignores one of his unnatural toughness. No, I have eighteen head. Okay. So. 18. So they have nine armor with your fourteen. That's going to be that, five damage to the head. Five gets, well, also the unnatural toughness, so they have the same amount as you guys. So that's what, two? How much was it? It ignores one degree of their unnatural toughness. So you deal ten damage to them. All right. Uh, um, or he's, a, yeah, you're able to, no, you're able to do six damage. I'm sorry. Six damage, all right. Yeah, because you do one point extra. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, no problem. I was like, man, it's one something somewhere. Oh, okay, his armor ready. So I went from I went from a nine to an eight. So that's uh, Virlo. He definitely feels like a rookie for sure. Well, if he's using that special ammo, he should basically whatever bonus he gets from his toughness is halved because. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, because we have that unnatural toughness, so we get double our toughness bonus when we're adding to our armor. Okay. So, the whatever special ammo that he was been using basically reduces that by one level, so it should just be his normal toughness value. Plus the nine penetration. Okay, so two more damage got there, so he's down to 12 health. Boom. Owie! Got him right in the head. Right in the knicker. The what now? The knicker. Oh. Interesting. Go! Uh, my knicker! Alright, who else is going? I thought the knickers are your next. balls. Alright, I go next. Chaos, they don't make sense, bro. He's I was a ball fall with another sniper shot, but alright. He's a Balchinian, man. Surely well, you know this. You wanna go for a shot? Yeah. Okay, you can go next. Alright, men in black. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cobler was aiming at this dude, right? Yes. I'm aiming at the bottom left, dude. Right. That's... Okay. I'll go for the same guy, uh, Cobler was shooting. No, you're I'm not. I'm going to fade point that. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Uh, I think there was a bonus for that. Uh... Tess, and I, unless you've already used one, like I should have had more of those. Okay. Yeah, it's like a plus 60 to the turret. Oh, is that the uh, turret, the ancient pistol? Th or no, not the ancient No, pistol. scroll down. That. Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. 
So that's, that's it's a turret thing. Yeah, you see there's special plus 60. Yes, look. Oh, oh, oh. Look shit. down where it says right. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. Alright, never mind. I will not fake I don't think it would have made it. But... No, it would have made it. Yeah. Would have just barely made it. It would have made it? Yeah, because plus, plus 60 would be uh, plus 6 degrees of success. Uh, so even with the uh, even with that bad of a roll, it still would have made it. And uh, you haven't used any fate points this session, right? No, I loaded in, and there's, it was all as I left it la uh, last time. Yeah, I thought right. I. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get. I couldn't open my character sheet for the most of it. It took me like thirty minutes to get it open. All right, so that's the damage on that guy, and Did he, the two oh, hit is a ninety-two, conceded? which would be twenty-nine, and twenty-nine is a shot to the. That's an auto turret, by the way. You can fire. Are you just doing a single shot? Uh, I mean, I guess it would be full auto then. So what do I roll another? It's well, it's only on one degree of success. Of success. Right? Yes. It's only one, one degree of edge. success, so it'd be two shots. There you go. Uh, so I'll damage. roll the damage for that one again. Okay, nice. Okay, go ahead. Describe how you kill this guy. Where's that hitting, though, actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was about to tell you. That is his left arm. Okay, he has 20 armor there. So minus 5 brings down to 15. That means eight gets through, and the first one, nothing gets. First one gets. was six, or no. Oh, you mean the first, yeah. Never yeah, mind. that bounces off him. The other one does about eight damage to him, which, right. would, which, would drop, which would drop him. He is hurting pretty badly. All right. I, guess I, I put the damage on the wrong guy. So, I'm going to go minus 8. He is severely hurt. There's blood gushing out from his arm and his head. And he looks fairly pissed off at the shit that just hit him. Alright, who else is going? I'm going next. <clears throat> oh, we're not. Or, so, Mop? Who's going next? We should probably have rolled the initiative. For the... Is it a surprise, surprise round? round? Yeah. Let's do that. No, I think it's uh, going to test his round. Um, Heraclitus is round. I was waiting yeah. for everybody that finished doing their surprise stuff before I did my thing. Right. So uh, mobs are dominating. So you guys decide who goes first. Do your thing. Oh, they haven't done that yet. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's just moth and I left. If I understand it correctly. Yes. Yep. And then Yomog last. Okay. Well. Uh... Also, Boko. For the love of God. Remove control of everybody else over Virlo. <laughs> Please. No, no, no. We did that on purpose so you guys can see his sensors. Right, yeah, but but, but that was again. only yeah that was only for one stretch where I was that doing was three stealth. sessions ago. Yeah, and we haven't needed it since. Where is his character? Fine. Accidentally. And I saw bars. I thought they were bars over mine, and I'm like, well, what the heck are these? Let me get rid of this crap. Then I realized I was editing Verlo's stuff, and I'm like, well, Oops. nope, that's not what I want to do. Hey, Tess, open my the Google Doc for my uh, initiative. It'll be double it. That's what I was saying. Look at the traits on there. All right, hang on a second. There you go. That was the wrong thing. Hang on. Yeah, let me delete the tracker, and then go ahead and add yourselves again. It's the only thing I hate about roll 20 is the tracker's kind of janked up. Sometimes when it comes to, like, uh, updating numbers. Ah, here we go. Yeah, blue is uh, space brain, green is the actual stuff I've purchased. So it's, and you're just looking for whatever the thing is. Got it. Okay. That, I figured that'd make it a little bit easier because that's how I use it. Okay. Sweet. So, like, you see, if I'm doing a melee attack, I have a thing that makes it I can choose where, and I have a thing that makes it so I don't have to pay for that. 
Uh, you're looking at I forget which one it's called. One of them. Uh. Double my initiative bonus or base is what it is. Or my agility when you're doing it. It'll be in green. Green. Okay. And who's taking their shot? Uh, that may guess. Well, whoever's moth is your side. Yeah, yeah, 24. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll take a shot. Technically 17, that was the first roll. Well, you're still higher. <laughs> Either way you're going after ever going before me. God shot to the face. Okay. And that's rapid fire. So yeah, this guy's this guy's dead. Who else you hitting? Uh, the dude right behind him. A okay, pen fourteen. Where face shot? Yeah, call shot to the head. I don't know how that'll work for hitting a secondary target. Uh, go ahead and just do another range attack, and we'll use that number. Alrighty. Even if it fails, we'll just use the inverse numbers. Eighty-three. That's a leg. Okay. Uh, pen fourteen. So he has six armor. Um, so, yeah, he's super dead. Literally killed the guy in front and blew up the guy's legs in the back and killing him. Nice. And now for my offhand weapon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the, man, you're just systematically erasing them before the encounter even begins. I love it. But you also oh, hate boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bada bing, bada motherfucking boom. Keep in mind, it's only four penetration, though. And where is that? Towards? You know, the most armor they have is 20, so a lot of that is going to be a killing shot here. Uh, 17, that's also a headshot. Okay, so, oh, well, he has 18 armor on the head, so first shot does... One damage. Okay. No, hold, hold on. More. Pen four does five. Next shot does four. Or no, yeah, four. Notice, hold on. Six. Six. Six, sorry, my brain's went the wrong way. Six. Okay. Next one is 13. Yeah, the first guy's dead now. Okay, and do the roll for the next guy behind him. Oh, see where that? <laughs> no, no, no. The the roll to see where his other damage hits because he did a lot of damage. Uh, seventy two legs. You and the leg shots. So he sweep the leg. He has twenty armor on the leg. So go ahead. So the first three shots killed the first guy. So we're at twenty six. I also got that movie reference, Moth. I'm two for two today. <laughs> Right. That's a first. He might be. He actually might be dead. So we'll do 20 armor on the legs minus 4, 16 armor, and then minus 26. He lost 10 health there. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead with those last, the second two shots, 26, 27. Because that's a minus 11 on the next one. Then, yeah, he's dead. So boom, boom. Okay. Uh, Dominic. Shot. I was. <laughs> I the rest of those <laughs> Dominic, go. Hold on. Does that hit any of the other guys in front then for the last bullets? Uh, yeah, we can do that. How many bullets? So the twenty-seven. So you have one, two, three. So go ahead and roll. Let's see where it hits. Ninety-six legs again. Oh my God! Well. Uh, you take his legs out, he's dead. And then... And this guy's dead, and... This guy's dead. And Yilmug hasn't even gone yet, time. right? Correct. Yeah. Keep in mind, there's another group of people back here. 
Yeah, it'll be better if Yoma take care of the back group. Well, if they've because... got thicker armor. No, they're the, they're the little no, they're yellow the, guys. So there's three groups. There's another the front, group of center, them. back, and the center okay. one we just destroyed. And those that I did, you guys. Right, so, I'll have to move forward so I can see them. Yeah, that yeah. was a chaotic forces. But that's um, right. My psychic power is a half action, so I can do that. Dominus, go. Well, now I need to figure out where I need to. Uh, how 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 tough are these guys? They're guardsmen, so you're, you're assessing not very, but they're still very dangerous. Oh, these weren't space marines; they were just guardsmen. Yeah. Oh. Ah. See, they're wearing. They have. You see that they're cloaks. They look like elite troops. So. So okay. will they be able to handle a frag grenade? They couldn't handle four penetration on a. Regular bolter, so well, uh, they don't have very much health if you're asking that out of game. So they don't have a lot of penetration and they don't no, have a lot but, of but the, not a lot of armor, if, not a lot of health. If you know the they theme, probably do full damage, though. If, yeah, if you know the theme of the game, that's what you're dealing with. So tinfoil cannons, right? Tissue paper. Yeah, I was thinking of throwing a frag grenade, which is D ten two D ten with pen of zero, which I'm not sure if I wrote, wrote that down correctly. This sounds about right. Your guy assessed that that might be more than enough to deal with these guys because they literally have flak vests and no armor on the legs or arms, and they might have a helmet underneath those hoods of theirs. You're unsure. All right, if I make grenades, can I throw? As many as you want. You have two hands. You can throw two if you wanted to. Just, like, get two, prime two, chuck them in there. Yeah, I'm going to throw two, two grenades. Hell, Frags or cracks? It, yeah. Frags. If you finagle, you could probably get pull three pins in one hand and chuck them, too. <laughs> you yeah, but what happens if you fail? Minus 20. Yeah, and... Yeah, 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 and then pull all the pins. If you fail, it. you're getting three grenades exploding in your face. But if I'm it's frag two, grenades, you I won't am, even feel it. I'm going to throw two grenades. No penalty? <laughs> I got it. You guys doing like a double... Ha! <laughs> Eat this, he's assholes! Got, he's got the, uh, the cartoon uh, arms where he's just fanning his arms and like grenades are flying forward. Yep. Hey, go ahead. Minus, minus, minus 10. See if you want to land in a particular spot. Well, uh, kind of around the middle. Okay. Of minus, these guys. Minus 10. And then, well, I'm going to make it neutral for that chance thing Ilma give us. Yep. So neutral. Plus, you have aim shot still. So. Okay. Uh, do the damage of both grenades. Plus 20. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they were dead on the like the second one. Definitely killed them. First one, they could probably absorb that. The second one, not not a chance. So they're all. You just see men go. Ah! Damn, we wiped see, their like, butts. You, you see like laser fire in all directions as they're dying and flaming. <laughs> did it? Did, did the laser ricochet to the back group? No. <laughs> it would have been hilarious. You could roll for that, Poco. You could do a GM roll. <laughs> I, I, I will just just to amuse you guys. We're already amused. So anything lower than ten, idea. I will roll damage on the guy behind him. Nope. Okay. It just goes in all directions. Oh, that's funny. All directions except at the guys who are still live <laughs> right. back there. Uh, your guy can assess, though, that those rifles look like they would have definitely hurt you. So. It's basically right. the damage they did to the walls around them. All right, young mug. Do your, uh, magic. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my half move. And... Okay. <laughs>
you can at least fit all of them within 12 meter radius. Well, you get the idea where they're all encompassed in it. Uh, and then uh, I have to push myself to do this, so I will be rolling on the chart. But I'll just roll like a D100, and if it's above 75, then we'll check the chart. AFK sorry, for above, like... If it's above 85, we'll check the chart. AFK for Anything like five else minutes. Just All right, willpower roll. Do I do it? Yeah, I succeeded. Barely. It it doesn't matter. As long as I succeed, it succeeds. That's still 12 D10 dice. Okay. Sorry, the it's uh, all ones. The GUI's being a little irritating at the moment. Got it. Okay. Uh roll that chart thing and your damage. Yep, yeah, and it is the shark thing, so. Yeah, they're all it does that much damage? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, oh, wait, all... sorry, sorry. No, those are D20s. There we go. It does 58 damage. Okay, that's a little more... I mean, still... Why is it deleting that? I was going to say, the max you can get for 12d10 is 120. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I accidentally had it at, set at d20s instead of d10s. So, and this... yeah, Can you see that thing that on the upper right, upper left corner? No, basically where the sphere is. Yeah, yeah. I can only that's... see like three quarters of my circle there. Well, so you I can't hit... see anything else. You heard a loud roar. You hit something there. So if you have a. All right. So, oh, then I'll do it again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, keep you because you have a 10. So keep going. That, that, that happens. Yeah, it hits. And there's Stephanie. And do remember, Boko, that this happens twice. For both okay. of these. Can you hear a very loud roar still? So at the beginning of his turn, he'll have to, you know, survive both of these again. Beginning of his turn, he has to survive the yeah. incoming damage? No, he's probably Also, dead. it is pin 12. He has, it has no armor to speak of. Okay. Well, pin 12 also gets through toughness and stuff, so. It doesn't have very much toughness either. It's not a very tough creature. Okay. But um, it is the shark, so it does happen, you know, twice. So 58 again and 70. You also got a righteous fury. Did you roll for that? Yeah, that's what the second one was. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely hear whatever it was. It's very much alive. Um, oh, Carlos, did you go? No. Okay. He's melee. Oh, that's right. I yeah, I didn't need to. Oh, just... Uh... Um, Stay in here, just in case. Okay. And then... Uh, Is that it? Yeah. As soon as my computer lets me do things. And then 10 meters of darkness around me. Okay, so then that's the end of the surprise round. Basora, go. Uh, we I'm did Overwatch. Roll? I think everyone went that could shoot. Not everyone's in the turn order. Uh, yeah, I haven't hit it yet. Oh, yeah, put your turn order in, sir. My apologies. There we go. Uh, but there our bonus is doubled. So that should be that number. Oh, uh, actually, that darkness may not happen. Hold on, let me roll D D one hundred here. Yeah. Yep, it is darkness. Good. Everyone on the board now. I think we're missing Virlo. Yeah, sorry, I'm AFK. I'll be there in a minute. All right, let me add the trainees too. Wait, are we missing a trainee? Did he get lost? Yeah, we're missing a trainee. Okay. Did 
That's crazy. He's you know, he's nowhere on the board anywhere. I'll be right back. Up, oh, found him. Got him. But now they're covering your guys' six. You see this guy come around the corner. They take up defensive positions. I tell you, basically, uh, it's a trap where we're in. Oh no, a trap? It's a trap! Yeah, he tells you there is a big buku amount of forces come up her ass. All right. left uh to view yes. and care no this is here oh no this is here so it was care no and that's it i believe dude said he was afk well dude's still on the channel so yeah, that but that's it dude yeah. wasn't him yeah. leaving the chat yeah, because I only care. And just so you know, uh, they're being 16. I have the power that. I got two new powers in my last thing where I now only roll on the big boy table if it's 85 or above. Let me change that then. Very well. Also, anything below 85 is just darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll change that. That's more for like it's more generalized for other psychers as well. But like, yeah, I'll change that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go grab some coffee while we wait. Yep. Uh, so one of the trainees tells you there is a big contingency coming up behind us in the corridors. All right. I'm back. Let me get the thing, the rolls on the table here. Let's see. Lightning reflexes. Character sheets. Sorry, I gotta look something up and verify. Should be at six. So this would be a plus twelve. Okay, I'm gonna go up your B. Yep. Oh, that was... Hang on. Alright, well, Krom's on the uh, thing. I forgot to swap to him in the chat. But that's his sheet. Okay. And then let me also roll for my initiative. 
Bloop. There we go. All right. Perfect. So we're all on the table now. I'm back. Hi, back. Did I miss, Did I I miss anything? Left? Left? Ooh. Uh, who? What? Who, who just left the... Uh... Yo, Mug, he's away for now. Uh. Right. Did you guys get intel that there is a big contingency behind you guys? Yep. Also back. Hey, uh, Boko, I'm going to need you to uh, reorder Crom and Virlo in the turn order. All right. Thank you. I just noticed that there's at least two hostels north of us. Yeah, they look very big, very <clears throat> disgusting looking. It's the very, lazy people. Very red. Like oh no, they they look like like those warp beasts you fought before, but a lot bigger. Oh no, those warp you know beasts. Those ones that nearly killed us. Yes, these look a lot bigger, and they're armor plated a little bit. It doesn't look like it's like heavily armor plated, but they look like they're. Yeah, they don't look too happy. And they also just ate one of the psychic blasts at full power. One did, yes. He, he was in the zone just barely. <laughs> and you just heard roars, so. Can we have to you guys what you guys are about to be doing here in a second? Well, I can't control my movement, so I'm on Overwatch. I will shoot whatever gets close. Enemy-wise. Got it. But you guys erased that encounter, the, the, the actual humanoids, pretty quickly. I was hoping they'd survive. You guys have a good tussle with the big boys, but it looks like, yeah, we're just fighting the big boys. Ambushes are ambushes for a reason. Right, you ambush them. And then you guys are getting caught up by a unintentional ambush with the, with the enemy patrol coming in as you guys are moving. So... Because he's telling you it doesn't look like they know they're here, but they are rushing to the signs of gunfire. So I'm guessing we're just getting the fuck out, right? Do what you all do, like I said, whatever you guys are doing at this well, point. There's three targets ahead of us that are big, squirrely death beasts, and there's a contingent behind us closing in. Right, he tells you... So which way is out? He tells you there are six plus targets that he saw. Right. Uh, with various war beasts behind him, too, on that side. Oh, so we need to move. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's over here, by the way. That there's you see a, a blast door over this location. Oh, okay. I will Back. highlight. I will highlight it for you right there. This is where you need to be, and you need to not be in the rest of the room. So, how many void grenades do we have left? Two. 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 So yeah, uh, do, uh, yeah, Mike, did you hear the intel that I was giving you about what the no, scout? No, I just got back. Okay, so he tells you there's at least six plus uh, chaos marines behind you guys, plus war beasts that he saw, and a possibly a champion of some sort. He looked ginormous compared to space marines. Who this guy was? He's carrying a power sword. It doesn't look fun. like they know where your guys are immediately at. They're just 
looks like they're heading towards the sound of gunfire. So, because they didn't see the trainee. All right, Krom is just going to charge forward up here and take point. And I immediately shoot this thing in the face because I'm on Overwatch. Okay. When the one the yell mug hurt? I suppose it's the closest target. Okay, do your damage. Or er, roll. As a uh, enormous, so you get a plus 10, 20 Ooh. on that. It's a couple sizes bigger. It's a plus 20. Since it's so freaking big. I forget, was Overwatch minus 10 to do it? I think so. Minus 20 for Overwatch. Well, you get that bonus I gave you. Plus 20, so it negates itself. Right. These are not mutants or anything, are they? No, they're they're warp, warp entities, I imagine. Because they're warp beasts. Horn beasts. You know, so does that count as a demon? Yes. Oh, good. That's for the starting plus power... For the Astartes rules, there is no penalty for Overwatch. He's not an Astarte. Yeah, I know. I'm just letting him know. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, how did I... That hits 34, is that chest? Okay. It has, like, five armor, so all that goes through. So that's... Minus 15... Minus 28. Minus, you just kill it by one point. Ooh, it disappears nice. into the void. Oh, yeah. These are also sanctified weapons, by the way. Oh, okay. So there's what? Double damage against chaos? Uh, I suppose. I don't know what sanctified does to demonic creatures. I would have gave you double damage. Since you're a holy warrior, that would make perfect sense. And that'd give you at least a way bigger fighting chance. Okay. And what was that? Second weapon. Okay. Which creature? Left or right? Uh, let's go with the one on the right. Okay. Oh, it actually has... Okay, you minus one all of them because you have pin four. Here, let me do the calculator, and that'll just double it. So 27, or 26, 26 plus 11 plus 21 plus 16 plus 21 plus 16 plus 17 plus 22. It's dead. With, du with double damage, even without double damage, you were brought down pretty close. So you nice. eviscerate that thing. It also disappears. Kadoosh, kadoosh. And I set this up to be a big major threat. You just wipe out one volley. Don't call me a douche. There's still another one left. Right, Krom, go. Uh, yeah, Krom already all won. Is, all it takes is one of them to get in. He has an auto turret. <laughs> Oh, the auto can the auto turret attack? Is that it? Yes, yes, it can. All right, plus six, plus sixty. Let's do it. Uh, but it, the, literally, the the enemy is going dead last. Like they, they rolled a five. Right. So you do have a fighting chance because if this creature gets erased, which I imagine it's going to. Um. That's two hits. You're going to be running. Like crazy, and I, I, your move speed is probably faster than theirs. They only can move forty meters. 
or actually 60. I think 60. Let me. All right, there's the, the damage, by the way. Let me see. Who moves 60 meters? The chaos? Yes, they can. They're going to catch up eventually, if that's really... Yep. So um, they're going to they're gonna be on top of you guys. But you guys can seal the door. Seal the door! <laughs> Once you get through. You have the trainee seal that door right there. Come on the door that you guys are at. He's pushing the button. Nothing's happening. Oh. So he's he's they've they've tried already. So they have fire armor. So nineteen and fifteen. It it tickles it. Okay. Uh, anything else Crom's going to do? No, I think that's it, because I did do my full charge to get to where I am. Eric, ladies, go. Sweet. And that's a free action that Gunker Turk could fire, by the way, so... Because it's a separate entity. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, hey, Karnoth, go. Sure, let me just quickly check. Um... So, I'll, oh boy, I get to if if you guys don't get to the escape route in time or kill this thing before it's its turn, it gets a choice of victims, huh? Uh, most likely it will. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for me, it's sweet. Okay. So, uh, Karnoff is going to go into solo mode <clears throat> and activate his ability Burst of Speed, which gives him plus four to his ability bonus for uh, six rounds, because that's the rank that he has. And he's going to charge at this entity and strike it. He's also going to uh, uh, he's also going to use a ability called Feet of Strength, which gives him a plus one to his unnatural strength, uh, and that's going to last for twelve rounds. That's twice the rank uh, duration. Uh, okay, let me... See what damage you can do. Let's see if you one-shot this thing, that's I'm going to laugh. Like I, my... I'm not two-handing my weapon, so I don't think I can do that yet. Uh... Well, oh, 100, it doesn't 100, have any... 170, it has five armor on it, all over it, so... I'm sure oh. you can get through that. It just has its toughness. Oh, actually, in that case, I can do something cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my... Where was it? Hammer blow again. Aim. There you go. It's going to hit. And like the last time what happened with the Dreadnought, the damage I do, uh, the half of half of that damage is going to be... We're going to do like the toughness check type thing. Uh, right. How, it, much, how long is it? It can dodge for. this, right? Is this a, this is a dodge? Yeah, this thing. is a normal attack. Yep. It can dodge that. Uh, let me get the damn creature. Fuck. Okay, here it is. Do, do, do. Can I use a fate point to make it reroll that dodge? Thank there you, you. go. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> all right. It almost uh, inverted. It almost added. I've been hilarious. It's negative two point eight. It was almost there. <laughs> well, we'll, we will think it's it's negative two point eight. Um, and that's a uh, that's a normal like warp demon thing. It's not a Xenos, right? That's correct. All right. It's a warp beast.
best amount of damage I, I do. And half of that is going to be against the toughness. I don't remember how we did it last time. Oh, it's toughness? Yeah, it needs to roll. It needs to make a toughness check. And I think we made it like so, like half of the damage I inflict is like a minus to the modifier as well. Okay, so minus what? Uh, minus 20, 23. 23. Else. So it's going to be stunned for 23 rounds. <laughs> I think that's how it's going to so work. You effectively knocked it out. One would imagine the uh, the toughness roll degree of failure would be the rounds of stun. Let me, like, yeah, but... I think I it was really I mean, oddly worded. I mean, that makes... If you're knocking it out, what he just did makes perfect sense. He just hit it with a mighty blow, essentially killing it. That's fine. Uh, he did 46 damage. It's still alive, so minus 46. In this situation, I'm happy you knocking out for 23 rounds, so... However, because I have a Furious Assault talent, I can do it again. Sweet. So just another roll and another damage roll. With the same modifiers as before. And it's now... Okay. It's still up, by the way. Line yeah. 56... Hope you just saved probably the whole party. God and damn. I, oh, I also command the trainees to move to the exit, to abandon okay. their posts and move to the exit. Yeah, because here's, here's what the thing could do. Yep. If it, if it bit you. Yep. I think that's a low roll, too. Uh, Virlo, go. Uh, yeah, five D ten plus fifteen plus eight. That's honestly that would be painful. Nice damage than anything we fought in here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it that is more... the weakest creature in here. What are you talking about? I'm gonna spend it's... my entire turn moving up to Does here. That kill you? That's, that's that still kill you? Yeah, it would still kill us. But some of the other things we've been fighting have had like a plus thirty or forty to the damage the added club, on right? to the rest of that. Yeah, that's a one shot though. This guy can do this every round. You talking about the spears? No, some of the chaos dudes were doing like plus fifty damage. Yeah, the spears. That's the only one I did. No, it no, to. the the other ones. Which ones? The guys before oh, the, dudes the spears. With axes. Oh yeah, they still do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're the right, major threat. Is, the my the war beasts are just that. Yeah, the war beasts are just that war beast. But these were bigger warbees, so they had just a little bit more health than everything else has. So and tanky, they're... that's about all they got on them, though. Well, tanky plus the fifty-four damage that would have hurt and killed anyone. Dominicus, go. Done. Go next. Okay, trainees are going. He's going. It is now their turn. Okay, Brassar, go. Uh, well, I can't see any of the people that ran up behind us, so I'll shoot the Warbeast again. Uh, okay. Those damn boxes. Yeah, because the, well, I mean, the, the group behind you is just literally running up to you guys at full speed. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I believe it's dead now. It disappears. Prom, go. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess Krom is just will. going to move up to the door and then cover it. And wait until everyone else gets on the other side. Cause that's what I imagine he would do. Eric, ladies, go.
Get in the door if you want to live. <laughs> Get in the door if you want to live. Live with me if you want to come. Alright, uh, Eric Clades, did, did you move, Eric Clades? <laughs> I'm Eric. in the door. Oh, uh, corn, go. Corn off. Corn? Corn? corn. No! No, don't let be... corn go. Spoilers. He'll kill us all. Spoilers! <laughs> We're both melee, so not, not, not that different. Boing. And my turn. Rear low, go. Alright. Uh, yeah, I can get to the other side of the door just barely if I run. There we go. Alright, that's me done. I'm an Aegis, go. I'm in the door. I will live. Behind you guys is, is the elevator to the next level. And the... You get someone... I imagine one of you guys pushed the button already. Uh, I mean, I'll... Oh, for the elevator? Yeah. Yes. Are we uh, going to yes. leave the trainees behind? Uh, so the elevator is... We're waiting for the elevator to come to us. Knowing oh. the last elevator, this is going to take six rounds. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to... We're going to roll to 1d6 plus 2. <sighs> you guys ready? Fucking... Okay, all right. Let's go. No, but I have to be. <laughs> I got oh it. my god. Uh. <laughs> Can Mac we fate point that? Can we fate yes. that? Yes. And I'll take off the plus two for that. So what What was that roll for? How long Duration. the elevator would take to get to us. In oh, round. God. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. All right. And the door is closable, the one you guys have, so I'll buy you some time. I'll give us, like, what, two rounds for them to get us or get to the door? Well, you're looking at the door. It doesn't look like a reinforced door of any kind, but it is a... They'll probably just kick it down. It's not that weak. Or shoot but... through it. Right. It, but you were to quickly ask, discern, it's not a... You don't have much time, but it'll buy you some time. So uh, real, just... real quick, does... I'm I'm looking at trainee Lucian Varax's uh, character sheet. Already... Yeah. Uh, it says his wounds are twenty and his current is two. So does he have two hit points left, or does he have two hit points mm. subtracted? Two two hit points subtracted. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you take hit, that number. Grows. Dumbass, you already right. went. Uh, yeah, I went went to the elevator. All right, so the group's moving. I would suggest we go behind this line and put on Overwatch, just so we shoot them when they come around the corner. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it would have been a good idea. Had it not been a turn too late. Oh no, the frog monster! <laughs> it's the oh, giant toad yeah. from Konosuba. It's a giant, uh, yeah, it looks like a giant frog to you, like a. with, with horns and. Various teeth and fangs. Oh, wait a minute. Frogs don't have fangs or teeth. These do. These look like frogs, sort of. You've heard of these uh, terror creatures. It looks like a, it might be a tree frog. It's a really big tree frog. They start to genetically engineer wildlife. No, it's oh. another war. It's another war beast like the one you guys fought. Just very different looking. It's a tree frog, Lester. Bigger kind of zerg. What kind of metal gear trees references that? I think 
that's everyone. Let me double check the line. Okay, Brasaro, go. Okay. Uh... That, that tail end of your group, It's so this is a decision you guys could make if you wanted to. You could shut the door, leave them behind. And they fight, they do a fighting retreat, buy you some time, or what do you guys want to do there? It is the options you guys can do. Not on Karnoff's watch, no. Okay. <sighs> Alright, Prasar, what are you doing? I am firing into that group. Yeah, 20 on the arms, legs, and 18 head on all these guys. Oh, God. And these ones, you see a couple of them with the uh, the big chain guns. So now a lot might of, be time for one of those void grenades. A lot of axes, a lot of chain guns. In fact, let me mark, let me mark the characters uh, that have chain guns. I'll mark them with that. And who was that on? And where did it hit? Uh, that front guy. It hits. And he's going to attempt to 65, dodge. 65, so body, torso. It's a minus 20 to dodge attempts. For this pistol. He gets Ooh! Hit. And where does and it rolled hit an 18, too, damn. Where does uh, it hit? Torso. He has 20 in the torso, so your pin drops it to 6. So he takes... I think he's dead. I think he's very dead. Um, calculator. So he has 6 armor. So Yeah, he's dead on the first shot. Damn. Because they only have 20 HP. Um, and four, penetration 4 brings it down to 6 armor. 30 minus 6 is 24 gets through. Nice. Yeah, so first guy drops. You dro you literally drop him. with. So the other guy is actually behind cover. So you're not able to get the other guy from where you're at. Let's see, where you where is your character? Yeah, these are both behind the box, technically. Yeah, the first guy, he was just out, just enough for you to hit him. Right, so. None of the other ones are around. Unless I could hit the frog somehow, because it's big. It is big. So I guess a minus 10 on that other other two rounds you want to use. I probably use my multi against the frog, just in case I have like, too much health. Yeah, yeah, sure, may as well hit it. So uh, what am I rolling to? The same, the the same, your same attack minus ten this time for those last two shots to basically hit that thing. So your guy in quick succession going pop 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 or pop pop Alrighty. pop something like that. That's how I'm imagining your character would have done this. Okay, and then it does. Penetration 14, so it's 20 armor drops to 6. And the 24 makes it 18 gets through. 18 in 21. Uh, sanctified weapon, by the way. Okay, so double the damage. So let me just get a calculator out at this point. So 24 minus 6. And then... Plus, this is a three twenty one times two. Okay, seventy eight damage gets through. 
Yeah, you're going to be invaluable against these types of things. That hurts. And now for my next trick. <gasps> I'll make all laugh. these <laughs> enemies disappear. Right. I, I, oh. I, I'm laughing that you guys are erasing these enemies so easily, though. But you are, at this point, a very highly skilled and renowned team. So this makes perfect sense what you guys are doing. Boko is uh, secretly disappointed that he can't have does fun nothing. killing us. <laughs> no, it does nothing. So, pink, pink. Oh, really? No, He's actually, never mind. Okay. No, actually, double, double, double damage, right? Sanctified. Yeah, double damage, frog. headshots, and to the frog. Okay, so let's see. He has 20 armor, minus 4. He has 16 armor. So, okay. 46 minus 16, 30 for the first one. So it would be 28 on the other one. So 58 gets through. Owie. Owie, owie, owie. Yeah, I know. These creatures, I built these creatures to be like really like uh, Glass Kenny y. Uh, didn't construct it in a way where it's anti your team, just where it poses a serious threat, if that makes sense. Yep. Okay, Krom, go. All right. You still have that Veil of Darkness, don't you? Or is that gone? That's over where they're at. Oh, no, no, no. The Veil of Darkness ends at the beginning of my, neck, my turn, so that was over okay. for the entire turn. Several Got it. Ago. Yeah, just making sure. All right, Krom's going to do a dank... Uh, Shoot at these guys. By the way, you guys are down to like two more rounds for the elevator. Because they pushed it as soon as they got there. Cool. All right, seven degrees of success. So that's eight hits, right? Yeah. Ends tomb. There we go. And I don't think that does anything. They have 20 armor on the bodies, 18 on the head. It's going to be the, the guy that hits can... Hits their heads, by the way. Oh, it hits their head. 18 on the... You're going to have to hit this guy, I imagine. Because the other guy is behind cover, so... I, he is extremely 13. tall. That's yeah. true. And you're shooting the heads. Okay, I'll grant it. So whatever one you want to choose. It's probably the one party can see. Right. Probably okay, this so... guy, and then if he ends up dying, then uh, this guy as well. I don't think he's gonna end up dying. So they have eighteen on the eighteen on the head with the pen of five. So eighteen. Eighteen minus five is twelve. No, not twelve. I can't do math. Thirteen. Thirteen. So two gets through. Okay. So minus two. Nothing on the next one. Minus two again. So that's four damage. Minus one. And so so two four five. Let's see, that one is 17, two more than that one, so that's four more, nine. <sighs> 13, 15, and that's another two, three. He's still barely up. So he has like barely any health from that attack. <laughs> He's like, ah, my head! His helmet's dented, his visor's cracked. Pretty much. He's like, okay, Eric Hades, go. I'm going to cast Possibility Shield on everybody. And it's at 80 meters now. Okay. Where's that green nonsense coming from, by the way? That's me. That's my 80 meter diameter. Okay. That I cannot see. Yep. Sweet. Uh, Karnoff, go. Oh, but you don't worry. Unless you leave the edge of the. Yeah, I think visible range. I think yeah. everyone's huddling into the elevator and staying there. I'm going to delay my move up until after the trainees move. Okay. Uh, Virlo, go. All right, I'm going to see if I can, uh, let's see here. 
If you call a, a call shot, roll. you can do a headshot on that guy that got fucked up. God damn it! Fucking draw the line, you stupid. And take there and take go. a minus. Yeah, and take a minus twenty since he's like uh, almost in full cover compared to you. But you can do a cold shot on his head. Be plus twenty because I'm within half distance, or is that plus ten? It's plus ten if you're within half distance. Okay. Uh, also, yeah. you have possibility shield now, so you can add another ten. So minus twenty. Plus probably add ten to the damage. Yeah, minus twenty plus all that stuff. All right, so it'll be just a straight roll then, and called shot to the head. So it's what minus ten. Minus ten total, yeah, sure. All right. Okay, minus ten. Oh my god, I'm fate pointing that. Do do do. And now it's just gonna be a straight roll, cause, cause of the fate point. Yep. Yep. All right. Huzzah! Do your damage. He is super dead. Boom! It explodes his head. Can I describe how I kill him? Sure. Uh, Virlo uh, braces the. Uh, equivalent of a sniper rifle, except to a stalker bolt gun is, uh, on his arm, and then very carefully lines up the shot. And as he takes the shot, the uh, vengeance round uh, bores straight through the thing's head, leaving a perfect hole, and then he drops dead. I'm glad you guys chose that target too, because he's about to light you guys up, which the other one will. So he's fucking dead. All right, Dominagus, go. Okay. But he's get to he's you're gonna have your fun before they have their fun, right? Yeah. I can barely see the frog, and it's, it's at the maximum range of. The... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, the other guys are actually behind cover, so you're gonna be taking a minus twenty penalty shooting shooting at the tops of their heads. Well, I'm gonna shoot the frog thing. I mean, okay. He's not behind cover, is he? He's big enough, you can hit him. Alright, what's the bonus for him to be big? Plus 20. Okay. Uh, is he also count as chaos? Yes, he's very chaos. Awesome. Well, I'm saying this because um, I get plus 10 against chaos. <clears throat> so that makes yeah, so the since that's full range. Chaos in general. Oh, I typed in chaos, and that's it. I was gonna assume all chaos, so it's fine. So we'll we'll worry about that later. So full range, base thirty. So that's plus fifty total against the Frogger. Yep. And he's gonna attempt to dodge. I don't know. He dodged Moss thing, right? He failed. Uh, the frog. I don't know if yeah. he tried to dodge. Okay, no, I don't think he did. And I only avoid one of your shots, so not all of the shots. Oh no, he he went he, towards he, it. Ah, ah, let me help you. Oh, that's jumps forwards into the other. Space <laughs> yeah, so he has twenty armor, uh, but I think he dead if you're shooting seven times. No, I only can shoot twice. Oh, okay. Uh, and then that's a Melta, so his armor is now five after those shots. And so, let's see, 17 minus 20. I don't know, 17 minus 5, 13. So 13 in the first shot. And the next shot is only five armor. Pen of five, so his armor is gone. But five of the armor gets absorbed, minus... 28. It's still up. It's, okay. it's severely hurt. There's big ass melta holes on this thing. Uh, you can tell it's not going to take much more damage. Right, and the trainees, they're just still bolting it. So they're going to bolt it. Yep, and they're going to make it. 
They now make it to the door. And they push the button. And you just hear, let me, let me roll something for you. You hear that door creak, stop a little bit, and then come all the way down. It, they rolled really well. So. I'm assuming you guys are in that thing, right? And not outside? Yes. Okay, including Chrome. Carnot. I was outside, but this is like the same turn, so I can just get inside. You said you're holding until after the trainees. Yeah. So that's fine. So it's closed. You guys have two more rounds. So now it is two more. What? Two like more. You said we had two, two more, more last turn. It has. They haven't gone yet. Once they go, it's Persoras, then it's one. You not remember that? Okay. okay. Yeah, they, they've oh. only they've only went once. They literally moved up to this. We, we, we still don't have two more rounds. It's one more after they go. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm gonna stay outside then. I guess. Is there will be a target for them to shoot? Well, they, they would still shoot us from up where, where they are. They still have a line of sight. Okay. Towards Oop. these people. So. Yeah, but if we close the door in front of us, we can just wait the last round out. Oh, so in that case, I guess we can just get inside, sure. Yeah, get inside, shut the door. So this thing comes up and. Jeez. Oh, shut the door, shut the door! Those already shut. Are you want me? You want me to do the? Uh, I can do dynamic lighting. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, we we don't need dynamic. No, 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 no. We don't need to <laughs> screw our vision up even more. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you guys hear a big, bolsterous monster breathing and coming up to that door, and it's going. You hear to him breathing back. through the door. Holy shit! Yeah. It's a quite loud creature. So. <laughs> and then it's going to hit the door. No, it's not. You've, it fumbles. You hear it fumbling. Because all that damage that it took, it just fumbles. and it... They look, it tries to swipe and his hand is gone. It's like, oh. Yep. <laughs> and the other oh creature... no, there's a second one, guys. Yeah, the other creature comes. Hold up, I thought they were moving 60 meters. No, no, no. That's the Space Marines. These things can move 100. Oh, jeez. Right, the Warhounds, these guys move extremely quick. So it's kind of like the, the, they're running up and then they're like, sick them. So that's what's happening. Sick them, boys. So it's going to hit. No, it's also not. It, <laughs> it, it actually decides it's going to chomp the weakling because F that guy. <laughs> Oh my jeez. Uh and it actually kills it nice. and eats it. Holy shit. <laughs> if he's eating eating it, it has to delay like one D ten rounds or something. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take some time to swallow that milk. Right, okay. I I'll I'll buy that. But it's not gonna be one D ten. It's gonna be one D so it's uh, Hey, fine. it's just long enough it's, for the it's elevator. Long enough. Exactly. We just needed at least one round. Yeah, just don't shoot it. Damn, that's exactly well, what closed. I was going to do. We could barely <laughs> even see it. So this thing is going to be right about there. And then they're running up to the door.
Don't we have that thing that lets us see through walls? Yeah. What, what was that? Yeah, just, they, they has it. The sea jogger. The sea jogger? Yeah. yeah, so we can see through the door right now, even though it's shut. I mean, if you want to spend your free action doing that, pulling out that big heavy thing, going, what's out there? I mean, it's in a free that action. That is hilarious how that how all that went down, by the way. 93 <laughs> followed by 100. I was like, well, it's going to decide to eat his buddy instead. <laughs> I mean, it's if the door closed in front of us and an elevator coming down from behind us, there's not really much we can do in this situation. Yeah, yeah. so this is the last round. That Chaos so. Marine got the Yoshi Tongue treatment. <laughs> well, the Yoshi got the Yoshi Tongue treatment. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it was supposed to get you. All right, so Moth, what are you doing at this point? Uh, Overwatch, in case anything tries to come through the door, I guess. Okay, uh, Krom, what are you doing? Um, it is a free action to uh, look through the door, right, with the yep. siege thing. So I'm doing that, and relaying the info of all the positions. These, these yep. guys. You see a you see a giant warrior clad in an armor with a power sword, just like uh, running down with his troops, giving barking orders. Has a giant flaming power sword. Is what you see him at. Uh, have there. I wish I killed him. In. Heraclades. I keep on keeping on. Karnoff. I keep on keeping on. Virlo. I keep on keeping on. Dominagus. Okay. <clears throat> no, you you've ruined it. <laughs> it's all right. Hmm. Did I miss something? You're, Did I miss something? Yeah, you were supposed yeah. to say, uh, "I keep on keeping on, keep with the theme." Cook -co 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 combo I mean, probably, break. You guys want to end it here or continue going? I'm cool either way. I can go for like an hour or two, sure. Say again. I can go for an hour or two, sure. Yeah, let's go for another hour. I just all wanted right. to make sure you guys are all good. Yeah, I can yep. do one hour. Yeah, that's what, That's fine. Okay. All right, so more hours. doors doors closed, right? Door is shut. Okay. Well, then I do Overwatch. So if once the door breaks, I shoot it out. Okay. Trainee goes. They uh, keep on keeping on. Isn't the isn't the elevator gonna be here? Mm -hmm. When it's Prosaurus turn after they went. This got the last... it. Got it. Last thing they can do, and then it's your guys' turn. And then you guys are going to make a slow descent as they break the door down. Uh, and the frog's still eating. So this guy comes up to the door, and he pushes the button. And you guys hear that door creaking up. Okay. This guy comes over here, and he's going to try to manhandle that animal. To not be so stupid. So, a second. And that Imagine if he fails, get negative 100 again. <laughs> and the <laughs> animal just eats him <laughs> instead. Right. <laughs> uh oh. Uh huh. Uh... It's only a 53, though. Uh, yeah. Would have been funny. Well, let me do a roll. No, he did. He wrote a zero. He didn't have it trained. That's why it failed. Right. He's not. He's not a handler. Handler. <laughs> he's just a random guy. Oh no! I mean, they're their. It's it's their handlers, but they're not like. What's the word? Um, super well versed in training these things. They're just like they're just there. They take orders and they never failed. So they're not until now. Until they do. Um. <laughs> So the let's see where's that corn beast at? Fellowship and it's gonna take a minus twenty. Failed it. So with that, it is going to chomp. Bad, bad fails. You guys want to fate point that? 
Okay. <laughs> We're gonna fate point the failure of the enemy you to know kill what? us. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm fuck it. Why it. not? Oh god, he's dead. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Lily just devours him. Okay, so this creature's coming up. Is that the champion? That'd be great. Was that the champion that just got killed? No, it is not him, dude. So oh, no, the, 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 the handler came up like, "Yo, calm down, chomp, eat." So at this point, wouldn't the Chaos Marine to be like, "Hey, this thing has gone rogue. We need to kill it." Hold up. <laughs> this thing ain't done. It's gonna come over here after it ate its victim. And this other beast is going to attack the the door. Also with the chomp attack. It too fails. Uh oh, a negative ninety one. <laughs> it's close enough. I'm gonna make it do a fellowship cut. Did it succeed or fail? Succeeded. So it won't it won't go rogue. Okay, and then he's gonna come up. And he's going to take a swing at that door. <laughs> we gonna miss. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so there. at this point I hear things trying to get through the door, right? You do. Cool. These guys these guys are going to come up. Let's see. And they're going to... Want... What are you doing there, Ma? Uh, my Overwatch. In case anything was coming through the door, I was going to shoot through it. Okay, cool. Ooh, low damage. Also, that door absorbs uh, about 20 damage of that. Or twenty pin, so twenty five would get through that. And what kind of gun is that? Is it like a pistol? Or is it... it it's my dual melta pistols firing. Okay, so it blows a hole through that door, <laughs> and oh, it... so that door is now open. Mm, they were already opening it. Right. So let's see, twenty five. Can I see through it? So this guy takes five damage to him. To remember, you can add ten to any roll. Yes, you can see through it now. Yes. So let's add another 10 to that damage roll then. Okay, so... The 35 Ooh. damage. Ow, wait. Since now I can see through, I use the Overwatch to fire. Okay. Um, since, is it just normal? Uh, so like base yep. 30, and then since the short range, plus 20. Yep. Who are you targeting? Oh, by the way, these uh, weapons have a blast too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Targeting the champion, so the blast radius is gonna hit everybody. Okay. I I meant my weapons also have a blast too, and I'm dual firing like this. It hasn't come up because nothing's been in range. Oh, okay. So they all yeah. get hit for. Well, the champion shrugs it off, and then the other two guys, they shrug it off as well. Most of it. Or was it twenty? They have oh actually the door absorbed twenty of that that damage. Their twenty pin had to go through, and then twenty five is hitting all of them. Yeah, they shrug it off. And then mites, then I fire. Okay. Uh, ooh shit. <laughs> they might not shrug that off. <laughs> it's a so twenty of dum double. It's a uh, double combo. Right, so they have five armor for the door. Or unless you're shooting through the hole that Moth just made. Through the hole. Okay, so you're shooting through the hole. So the champion. For 15. Which should uh, spread with the blast two. It should hit the right. two other guys. And he or has, one, one other guy in the pet. He has 40 armor on the chest and 30 armor on the arms and legs. So let me do that. 30 minus 15 is or 15 and then the first shot is minus 37 jeez even with with his armor and then minus 33 
or that's not one be minus thirty three. Be minus another minus twenty two. I think they're I think they're all dead. That's forty four damage coming down range. Also, they lost armor on the first shot, and then I hit them oh, again. That's right. They have no armor. Okay. <laughs> so that champion. Let's see. Me, I'm doing armor de deduction here. The moth did overall. What was it? Yeah. He did 44, and then moth did how much total? I'll just the 20, and then the armor absorbed that, so minus five. He's the champion's still up. I think it doesn't have any armor at this point. No, he's he's, he's he looks like a molten mess, and he just looks angrily at you with red eyes. <laughs> just respond with, Come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, he ain't happy. Uh, Brasora, go, and the elevator's here. All right, I uh, shoot him again. Aren't we getting in the fucking elevator? We're all I in can't the elevator. Move. Cobler, oh, yeah, I can't move right. myself. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Someone else needs to press the button. Oh, he is going to attempt to dodge. Minus 20 to his dodge check. Minus 20. He's eating it. Okay. Um, let's see. Minus 17 and minus 31. He is hurting. He is barely up. You just see blood gushing. You see him just look at you with a very stern steer. And he's dead. Oh, one more thing about the pack. Did the pack get affected by the my blast? You're talking about the creature? Yeah, that creature. It um, seemed to It seemed to enjoy it. Oh gosh. Oh no. Yeah. So let's see. And then you did forty four. And then Moth did an additional twenty five. Okay, cool. No, this thing seemed to enjoy it. It actually grew a little bit bigger. So explosive. Got it. <laughs> Does anyone have a cracker name? <laughs> Yes. I want to use it. I can help uh, negate his abilities. Oops. On my turn. Okay. Uh, if it's the champion that's there, right? Not, no, the right? champion's yeah. dead. I just killed the him. The champion's dead? Oh, okay, well. It, it's the beast. It's the, it's the worm. Oh, it's it just the beast. It got bigger, actually, and seemed to enjoy it. Oh, by the way, my damage yeah. counts as sanctified, so if that matters for the beast at all. Oh, it should. It, it it did it it didn't it didn't um it didn't give it double health. How about that? Oh gosh! <laughs> All right, then I won't be negating abilities. Is it uh Krom's turn? Yep. Yep. It, Krom steps into the elevator. Well, okay. let him use the turret first. It's well, yeah. Move. Yeah. I was getting there. Don't worry. And as he moves... Got to open the character sheet again. See, roll 20 is weird because you can only have one character sheet popped out at a time. So, really? like... I've been able to have uh, more than that. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I think he means bugs. away from the screen. Right. Like I'm second. able to have two two character sheets on the different screens. Yeah, well, I can have one within the Roll20 app itself and then one as a pop-out window, but I can't have two of either one. That's that's a problem that's with not, you because I can have multiple of both on. I can have here. I can have multiple pop-up with yeah, Google I've had, Chrome. I've had four or five. In, no, on roll twenty itself, so that it stays in roll twenty, uh, you can only have one as well. Right. right. If you I have multiple. Out, if you I, I can pull out, multiple can. character sheets out. What are you talking about? I can pull multiple character sheets as well. I've, I've now got Brisora, Sylvestra, and a random guardsman, oh, and Garrus, and uh -huh. Malchus. 
Yeah, if you just uh, move it to the second window, then it works. Yeah. Oh, now it's working. Well, yeah. it never worked like that before for me. What the fuck? Anyway. Um. So yeah, Krom's gonna do the uh, two hit roll on the Bolter turret thing. All right, that's two hits. Bloop bloop. There we go. How much armor does this fucker have? Oh, uh, so it seems to enjoy that a little bit more. So, 11. uh oh. And 17. Uh, what else did you do? Just see 11 damage in the 17, and I'm getting oh, in the oh, elevator. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? Even with normal tearing damage, it got bigger? God. <laughs> Quick, somebody pet it to deal massive damage. <laughs> Wait, I missed it. Wait, so we shot it with Bolter and it grew? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, let's just retreat. It seems to be fond of pain. <laughs> pet it with kindness. <laughs> exactly. We need to fight it with kindness. <laughs> Kill it There's with only kindness! One way there's only one way to deal critical damage, and I am not going to suggest that. Oh, okay. So Krom went, and then Eric Lady's go. Okay. Um, well. Is the elevator here? Yes. Yeah. It's been cool. here. I get on Just the elevator. fucking get in and shut the door. Well, I mean, I the door's, door's open the now. Possibility shield. And there's a hole now that these guys conveniently created with their melted weapons. Right. If we're all, are we all in the elevator or? Nope. No. Okay. So I get on the elevator. I drop possibility shield, uh, and I uh, I throw a non-pushed uh, uh, sharky thing at the guy. So okay. aim into radius on him. All right. Where's my buttons? Here's my buttons. Success. So that's 8d10. Okay, it reels in pain. I'm going to fake point the damage roll. Because that was pretty low. Is it getting bigger? Okay, well that was lower, but then I get to do my power again. No, because Boko mm -hmm. said it's reeling in pain. Yeah. It's actually responding to this damage. Alright. Okay, I succeed again. A, But it lets me cast it again. Okay, and that's where it stops. So with a pin of eight, um, but then all this damage is just going to happen again on his turn. Yep, it's still up, and does not look like it liked what you just did at all. That's cool. Also, um, I have to roll on the chart because my willpower check was a double. So, well, bam, rolling the dice. 44. Well, that's less than 85, so darkness in uh, 2d10 meters. Until okay. my turn again. I'm assuming Which, everyone that's on the elevator, you guys are going to be pushing the elevator to go down. As soon as everybody gets on the elevator. The button, yes. But it cannot see us either. So. No, I mean, we can't see the elevator buttons. So we're going to be hitting all of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just stop on every floor on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> I'll roll to see where you guys go. <laughs> a one, a one d ten, anywhere between first and tenth level. What level are we on? Second. Oh, so a good chance we'll go kind of where we want. Yeah. You need to go. He tells you you need to go to level four to make the transition over. Yeah. 
I didn't push this one because I didn't want to have to roll on the table, but I had to roll on the table anyway. Arnoff, go. I'm on the elevator. Bielo, go. I'm getting on the fucking elevator. Dominic, go. I go to the elevator. And the trainees. Everyone gets on the elevator, I imagine, right? Yep. Yeah. And then as the last one gets on, we hit the button. Hey, roll 1d10. Hit the button. button. Uh, I fate point it. Okay. Are we really going to fate point the elevator? Yep. Yes. Hey! Oh, yeah. hey -o. Hell yeah. Yes, we're going to fate point the elevator unless you want to stick around to get fucking eviscerated by this thing. Well, I just didn't want to have to go four floors below where we needed to be. All yeah. we had to do is hit the elevator button again when we got there. Yeah, but now it's less time we got to wait to go back up. And knowing Thomas, you know, anything well, considering, could happen. Considering oh, the elevator is ten stuck. seconds. Yeah, possible. It is possible. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, I could always just as soon as we hit floor eight, oh, the monster above destroyed the components so that lift doesn't work anymore. No, I don't just do things. I roll for things. I have yeah. an idea. Yeah. I have an idea, and then I roll for it. Yes. Yeah, but, but I know how GMs work, and that's exactly what I would do. Right. Like, yeah, this would be fun. Like, let, what happens if this happens? One second. You guys see where you're at? Oh, you could do that focus ping to bring us there. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh. Um, total darkness. Yeah, total darkness. What? Where am I? Did you focus ping us? Because all I have is total darkness. I did. Did you bring us to the new sheet, to the new map? Yeah, do I see your characters are right here. I see nothing. Do the focus ping. Just That's there. Ping somewhere. Yeah. Did you bring us inside anywhere? The wall? Oh, I see it. I oh. see the ping. It's a green. I saw it. That's the me, yeah. Hold yeah, up. That's me. Did I get in the wrong? Am I on the wrong level? I put you in the wrong level. Give me a second. <laughs> Damn Whoa. it. The level eight. Red ping. Hold up. Let me see where I'm at. Make sure I'm on the right one. Focus more. Stop more pinging no. me. No. Yeah, I'm on the wrong one. Give me a second. Yippee. Brothers, it appears the elevator has dropped us off on the wrong level. It's <laughs> pitch black. What? But I forced reality to shift to my will. Oh, we're is. still in the darkness. It, hasn't it was oh, so oh, shifting. Oh, oh, there we go. I and we're back now. in the elevator. Hang on, we were on this floor Wait, are we already. In the blood puddle? No. Nonsense. This is a brand new floor. We have never been here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Delete the blood. Well, that's a... Yeah, it's totally not the same map. I Always. don't like those blood cubes. Well, I'm sorry. Making maps takes a lot of time <laughs> and effort. And now that I have a job, an AI. I can AI. You can move AI maps in this game now. You could probably import PNGs. So. I wouldn't think so. Yes, you would be able to import a PNG. It is just a picture. It's just a crudely uh, drawn MS Paint of the map. You no, know, I actually build these top maps by tiles. This is all hand constructed by me. So. Oh. I, like I. Oh, I nice. Yeah, I can actually show you. Let's see, map background. These are actually tile sets oh God. That, I, that I pieced together. Um, Hell yeah. So. It's all the shifting world is around. shifting beneath our feet. 
What the blood puddle stays? How it's heresy. Do you not remember that long train we had that snaked? I made all that, so. But my day job absorbed a lot of my time, so I wasn't able to handcraft a lot of maps for you guys like I want to. But, yeah, you get down here. That's all right, Boko. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> no, they fired me. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, the playing favorites. Did, did, you, did you miss that coming in? He did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I must have. I also missed that. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I lost the game of politics. Oh, oh, that's what you're referring to. Yeah. Anyways, uh... That's some bullshit. It's what happens. D did they... I mean... It's always performance. They always, anytime it's like something like that, oh, it's performance. So all suddenly there's, it, it's, even though it wasn't, but I'm like whatever. Yeah, well then it's, if it's not a justified. I well they can justify it, and it's a right, it's a, a at will state, so there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Yeah, actually, but if they did something like retaliation, that... you're protected under the law. Right, and they covered their six. They did the pip and all that stuff, and they did like, oh, yeah, we did do all this, so that. I, if you I, have proof that it is wrongful termination, then you can you can do something about it. I don't. I'm locked out of those accounts. Well, oh, I, you, if you were to... I'm just saying this, Boko. If you were to take it to court, like... I would lose. They, they, no. they literally have lawyers. No, those look, guys. Yeah, I understand, thing. but, like, just hear me out. So if you if you ended up taking them to court... And they they have incriminating documents in their system, then that would all come out during discovery because they would get a subpoena, and if they got rid of it, that's spoliation of evidence, and then the court will assume that your everything that you're saying is true if they don't have evidence to disprove it. Like that's that's at a high level how that works. Now, sure. this isn't legal advice. I'm not a lawyer, and if you were to pursue that, you would need to get yourself a lawyer. But that's just not how it works. I'm not interested in wasting my time with them anymore. So. Yeah, fair. Anyways, uh, yeah, you see, basically pools of blood at this level. Um, you see it dripping from the ceiling and pumping into the walls at a low-ish rate. The lieutenant points and points out two people. Normal humans? Yep. Kind of blanked out for a second there. I just heard the blood points at two people. No, 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 no. The Torian points at two people. He goes, he says friendly over the comms to you guys. Cool. I uh, take out the pouch that the bomb is uh, in, and then I uh, strap it higher to my chest. Got it. I was about to mention that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to wade through the blood and have the bomb go off. So do we go down or do we go up? Down. Yeah. All right, down. <clears throat> They say this out loud to you guys. Wouldn't they be drowning in blood? No, it's literally like ankle deep oh. to them. Hey, so the resistance fighters the boots. gathered yeah. together, Torian. We got your signal. Uh, and he goes, ah, uh, oh, very well. And he points to you, Ericlades. Says, um, I sent a me code message to the resistance group. But we've gathered all that we could under this hive city to do the assault. Because, like, the, the intel he's got is that Chaos Forces has bolstered their defenses and set up uh, defensive perimeters at that that entrance point. They discovered it. 
So, sounds like they're making the last stand as Wade's telling you. Understood. So our distraction has become worse, has made things worse. Got it. No, he's telling you um, that the, 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 your force is progressing so hard that I guess it forced those chaos forces on the interior defensive wall. And with you guys being, I guess, so loud, he's not alluding to that, but yes, that uh, things have went to shit, went from bad to worse. Yeah, because we wanted all their forces outside of the walls. Right. And now and now they're all getting closer in the walls. Ah, all right. It's because that how the battle pursued. Literally, it's how the dice yep. rolled. It forced yep. them in the walls. <laughs> all right. Well, mission still has the mission, so please. All right. Lead the way. Of course, you know, best laid plans never go the way you want them anyway. If anything, this is just normal. <laughs> As I wade through a massive pool of blood, definitely normal. <laughs> kind of agrees. Right. Mentally picturing a picturing a dog sipping tea in the middle of a room lit on fire. This right. is fine. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Absolutely <laughs> fine. Everything's absolutely. fine. Right. Absolutely fine. Is you guys, you guys gonna follow? You guys coming along? I see oh. this as an absolute oh. fine. Uh, I think the light maps. Yeah, there's lucky. There's a yeah. random wall. On the stairs. I think you need to adjust the map. Well, I can go at least around the wall. Yeah. And then you're trapped. Oh, I know what happened. Yeah, it's I, okay. The map got moved. Yes, it, yes did. it did. Oh. Yeah, Boko, you were showing off your uh, Roll20 mapping skills, and uh, you ended up moving the map. Does that look more correct? Worse. No, on the other side. All the way. Wait, which way this did we go? North? No. Yep. So. Oh. Okay. There you go. Yes. There you go. There I we go. I do not know where you guys are. I was busy boxing up. Okay. Got it. God fucking. Oh. Wrong. Wrong way. Wrong way. No, there I understand. Go. No, my my mouse he's is having, fucking can, up. He's having issues with the. Uh, Tears control scheme. No, it's not even that. It's my fucking mouse that's been acting up. So it's like randomly double clicking and shit when, when I don't want it to. It's not that I need to get a new one. I just need to clean this one. I haven't set aside time to do that. Tweezers, my I guy. See. Tweezers. Pull those hairs out of there. <gasps> I just need a high pressure uh, lunch. <laughs> God, that yeah, reminds me of that cursed shit that you sent me, Dan, with the keyboard crumbs. Don't worry about it. That's the seasoning? Yeah. So, don't worry about one, it. one thing I've found out, and it, it, it works, you can throw the keyboard into the dishwasher and let it dry. And it cleans, cleans it up very well. Only if, you're, um, only if your water doesn't have impurities in it. It also sounds like a great way to melt a keyboard. It did not melt the keyboard. Who I put, literally only saw if you put it. it on the bottom rack of the dishwasher. Damn. Come get your vittles. I would say if you're not careful here in Germany, you can. I've melted glass in my dishwasher. Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's the, to be fair, glass <laughs> is technically still a liquid. Yes, no. but is it? it more so? Yeah, it's still technically really good. Like after centuries, it will slowly droop, be shorter. Yeah, what? but it's so minuscule of an amount yeah. that it's you can't notice it. This is news to me. 
Oh, also, if anyone just... says, if you look at like 200 year old houses and a glass is thicker at the bottom than the top, they were made that way to install the glass. That's not. It's due total to... bullshit. They drooped. It's, it's nope. It, glass does not shrink or uh, flow that much. That kind of reminds me of concrete being liquid. Yeah, but it's not hard enough. It's more of a mixture. Te technically, concrete's not liquid. The thing with concrete is it takes ages to dry. So if if you start drying concrete, say like in a cube, it'll it'll take a couple. It'll take like a decade for the center to harden fully. Yeah, Gla just the, uh, all the water in the center has to evaporate out. Glass right. itself, it's not a liquid. It's a solid, and right. if you heat up glass, it'll become red hot, and then it'll be molten glass, and that's when it's a liquid. Yes, glass still flows, though, is the thing. Yeah, it so still, still acts as a liquid. a liquid. However, the time scale on that is in the hundreds of years. How come I've never heard of this phenomenon? Really, you've before? never heard of this? No. I never heard of this either, and that's kind of cool. To be fair, Cobra, you haven't seen a lot of shit, so... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I live under a fucking rock, okay? But uh, it's not that bad. Like, I do still know some trivia. Not enough to be on a on a trivia team or on Jeopardy, but you right, get what I mean. Moving on. So the basically the leader informs you of like uh Is he holding a a tray with food on it? No no no, yeah. that's an ogre and female cook. Oh. Yeah, she's holding food and feeding the troops. So they tell you this is this is what they were able to muster. Ah. Uh, a mighty strike force indeed. <laughs> that's literally all they're able to muster. What do you mean uh, it's only chilly? Right. So they said, um, yeah, they allude to there was the reinforcements were cut off and uh, stopped. They've heard from them since. Uh, and that was the majority of their, the bulk of their forces. So they are it. Uh, but they're able, able, able to gather intel, at least on your target. That leads up to the internal <coughs> center of the fortifications. Um, there is a way to still sneak in and get to that elevator shaft. Uh, the enemy set up various uh, choke points and stronghold points because they know you guys are now in the area at least, or some something is down here that they're trying to deal with. Um, they encountered at least two dreadnoughts as well, some of these choke points. Oof. Right. And they and they do know or the the Torian tells you that um they got word though the the knights on the inside of the fortification uh moved a little bit deeper in the fortifications. So you may have to possibly deal with those in the courtyard when we get up. So best to avoid them at all costs. What? I was going to engage them in one-on-one -on -one melee combat. <laughs> Big giant nightmare squash. I'm, I'm glad you've brought me to my senses with that choice, though. I will be sure to not do that. Thank you. He doesn't know the true power of the uh, uh, Emperor's Angels, so he assumes you would have done that. Okay, so they're going to lead you, lead you to the fortifications. And the ogre to ask you, do you want some vittles? Uh, I'm going to quickly do a anything check. To, uh, cool. I know what they are. What are they? It's a it's a ogre and cook. Uh, for uh, it helps. No, I do not want vittles. If vittles is the name of the ogre cook. No, no, no. Vittles is like meal. So it's like uh, gruel, like various rats and other things. Combine together and make a stew. Cool. I appreciate your offer, but no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Suit yourself is what she basically tells you, and then stomps off. 
Okay. Uh, and she went straight through the wall. Curious. There now. There is a door that leads into a house. I'll look for a sign of door and I'll see any. I've got another one just disappeared. Are you going to go to the front door where you're going to be doing going in her house? No. 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 Oh, okay. Because she's going to, she's about to get a little up, uppity for that. Uh, but yeah, the guardsmen, uh, they're going to eat their meal very, you see them eating very rapidly, very quickly. Because they tell you they had a run down here from where they came from. Uh, they, they're fighting in another sector. So. Yeah, they're getting more and more surprise from that. Fiddles. Huh? Yeah. So they're coming with you guys. So you guys gonna wait for them, or are you guys gonna let them lead the way? Well, if they're gonna lead the way, we have to wait for them, now, don't we? Oh, that's true. Yes, they know the way, so we'll wait for them. Yep. It takes more than five minutes though. I'm gonna get an update. Uh, no. You see them kind of just like chuck the food. Yeah, they take a couple bites and then they move. So it's like they're weren't expecting you this quickly. Is the sense you're getting, but they also look very famished. So a lot of them drink their meals, eat their food, and head out. Get grab their loud rifles and go. So. All right, we're off to see the wizard. Off to see the wizard. <laughs> of Oz. The wonderful wizard of blood. Yeah. No, no, no. Of Oz. He's one of the librarians. Ah. <laughs> Where are we going? To the left. Straight right. left. Thank yeah, you. Trying to fucking draw a box around these guys. There we go. God damn it. Are you guys waiting, wait, observing and waiting for any traps or anything like that? I am. I, yep. I, I look for this. Oh my god, this mouse is really frustrating me. Here we go. You don't see anything. You don't sense anything. Yeah. All, all that would have been is I do sense something, but I just wouldn't know where they are. Got it. So I did ten pieces too. So there are more presences or people using warp powers. I would know. just not know uh, where they are. No, they. You don't sense any warp powers. You know, there's chaos forces definitely in the area. Yeah. But but no warpy bullshit other than your librarians. Yeah. <clears throat> Or, you know, those entities using, you know, warp, whatever to... Right. Definitely. Oh, these guys? No. It scurries off. Oh, Dominagus, are you moving with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did I leave any of those guys behind? I already get them all. No, I left two behind. Okay. They're pulling up the rear. Okay, like it's just this way. Oh, I gotta turn off that door, don't I? I go open it. Da -da -da. Yeah. One second. Yippee. Sweet. Okay, who is that, Karnoff? Okay, do an agility check. You got it. All right. Dodge or agility? You can do a dodge, too. But uh, it is a, it's a big, giant thing of flame, so I imagine that's how you avoid flame damage. Yes, it's a dodge check. Any modifiers? Uh, you were unaware of it. Or unless you want to do awareness, so you'll take the minus 30 penalty. Oh, you already did one, right? Let's see. Uh, a while ago. 
when I was first saw the, okay, the so trap master. You you just saw it in time for sure to avoid it. So you get a, you get a plus sixty to dodge since you're kind of being cognizant and aware of these traps. But it's still gonna go off. There you go. Okay, you dodge it. Oh, it's a giant wall of flame just come straight down where that patch was. Uh, yeah, that's mark. a 20 meter dodge. So, saturated the area. No, no, uh, right here. The warm uh, right I see. Yeah, just a giant wall, wall of flame, pillar of flame, I should say. I'm like, oh. Yeah, and then, you know, everyone's moving about. That guy triggers a thing, so he's going to do. Why I turn you... around and say, don't move. Right. And ho hold out my hand. One second. This guy's feet wasn't set for some reason. All right. Dodge. Dodge. Fails. So he does the, what is it? Agility for flamers, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Fails that, and he's just going to now. I mean, one more gonna... agility check. We want to do one more. Yeah, to see if he gets lit on fire from it. Okay. He is also on fire. <laughs> oh. Poor right. Ogren. Oh, it's not the Ogren. It's the leader. So he kind of like oh, it's back. The leader. Yeah. So. Let me get the flamer. It... Damage. It does 27 damage. He is super dead. You just see a giant roasting corpse. <laughs> Where he was. And I, after that happens, Karnov shouts, Step where I step. Got it. Yippee. Are you doing awareness checks as you're moving? Yep. Otherwise, you would. Okay. You got a 10, right? On the dodge, on the uh, that's what I'm supposed to dodge. Okay, so you avoided the first trap. I'll, I'll... Oh, sorry. I, uh... So I was right there. Then my awareness. Oh, uh huh. Yep. So where I'm marking them was where the traps that ignited. Uh, this trap ignites over here. Okay. And then you're opening that door. I am trying to open that door, yep. Shit! Sure, can stop. Mm hmm. So, it's Sorry, my Discord crashed. Yeah, it was a sliding door and much. And stop. No idea what that was about. I would like to uh, inspect the. Near the door, let's see if it's trapped or not. I'm gonna okay. Have a roll an awareness check. Okay. You don't see any visible traps on the door. I step outside the door to inspect it, like in the surroundings. Okay. You do see something possibly here. And with the seven point one, I'll give you this one as well. Something possibly there. Okay. And so I and to... yep. As you come around that door, yep. You can do a dodge check immediately. At, Would I be able it. to spot him or not? Uh, With that me... seven point one degrees of success. Let me find out. You one second, because that would that would determine if you're going to be surprised or not. Where is that trap, master? Trap master. I've been rolling like super low for my awareness checks. 
that's uh, the concealment. You see them. You, right. you you fought these guys enough to know that generally that distorted field is is one of those guys. So you're mm-hmm. kind of aware of it. So you can get a plus 30 to your dodge here. As he's going to set off that trap. Okay. And you see a thug of a spear hit the wall. Mm-hmm. Once I do that, uh, I... Oh, rush yeah. him, but like uh, carefully avoiding this trap and just going straight for him and caving his colon. So you guys following following the way? Yep. Making sure not to step on any uh, nonsense. They have no armor, right? Depends on where you hit. Uh, like chest and arms is where they have armor. All right, so like zero armor on the leg, I presume. That's correct. Dead. Okay. All right, okay, I gotta keep marking those guys. Okay. And I come back and I continue going down the, 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 the thing. Hold up. You're at half range. They are going to. Or these awesome guys. sauce. Yeah. So you can take cover before they fire. Because uh, your awareness was high enough, you could see these guys coming up and you can hear the spurring of the guns. Uh, I am aware that. Am I aware that the people are like going right behind me? I would, yeah. I would think I am. Yeah. So I would not dodge. I would stand in my. I would stand in my ground. Okay. So you're gonna take the first initial. Okay. Yeah. Barrage, and then we'll roll for initiative. Yep. that guy and there is this guy so you can you see you can roll for the dodge in the first one uh yeah i can roll for well you can roll for dodge in one of them <laughs> technically the melt cannon was the first one rolled so i really want to dodge but if i do dodge it's going to probably hit the people behind me so I, I don't think I really can. Um, let me see here. They're just humans. They're meat shields. They'll absorb a hit. All right. So the first one, uh, uh, yeah, I see a bolter. I will. I will attempt to just uh, uh, absorb it with my power field. Okay. And I do absorb it. Uh, all and then 70- the medic. Yeah. All no, 70- forty. No, for, forty damage. That's that's the heavy bolter. That's the, that that which I absorb. I think the yeah, it's melted cannon and then bolter went. So yeah, so the melted cannon I will dodge. Okay. And I do dodge. Nice. But now that melted cannon guy has to spend a turn to reload. So. Yep. And the hold up, the heavy bolter it has seven shots, right? But you absorb uh, one of them, yeah, right? You, you, you can do seven more shots. Yep. Okay, so so six more. All right, then let me do six more. Uh, Five and six. So I absorb three. And let me see. Uh, so I was like, wait a minute, this is a bolter. This is a bullshit weapon like Dominic's weapon over there, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so it hits me on 31, which is on my body. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> is that good? That is good. So the first two shots, I do manage to absorb by holding my shield. Uh, the, the next two shots get absorbed by my power field. The 26 with pen 10 
I managed to absorb with my armor. Now the 100 last... though, does that do anything? Can no, I? That no, that anything. just means it doesn't absorb. The Got last it. one, as you can see, that it's red. That means my power field overloaded, so I cannot use it anymore. Oh, but well, it does absorb it. the last hit too. Yes, but it does absorb. Yep. So nothing gets through. Yep. Damn, your guy Oof. is beefy as heck. The first shot, the 20 damage, 29 with pen 10, that was just like enough. Like, one more damage and I would have taken damage. So that was so very the, close. So you absorbed all the 30, 30 ones? Uh, yeah, 20, I absorbed 20, 29, 26, yeah, you absorbed, and 26. Yep. That's hilarious how the 40 and the 37 were around your ones, and then the ones that don't get through... You just pass through and your armor absorbs it anyways. That's, that was extremely lucky, yeah. That <laughs> maps just to that, like that. That's crazy. It's like, yeah, there's a 34, a 37, and a 40, and I'm just going to absorb all that. <laughs> it counted a price. Right. Okay. Um, okay, so... That's their surprise round. And let me do their initiative. Yeah, 13. Only thing I hate was there's a, like a little thing where I can just have enemies, just general enemies. Everyone put their uh, turn order in? Nope. Okay. All right, let me uh, go ahead and roll initiative here. Well, let me erase it. I'm going to get doubles again. Oh. I don't know why it does that. That's so stupid. All right. Are we good to roll for initiative now? Is that it? Yeah, I cleared the board. All right. And then after this engagement, we'll probably stop here. You guys will get another 1,500 experience points. But at least you're at the end of the tunnel of this of this going down and up and over. You guys literally skipped level three altogether, which is a good thing. You said 1,600. Or 1500. 1500. 1500. 1500. Okay. 1500. And then I probably want to give some like bonus experience points because like, for Sora, you're kicking ass with your pistols there. I'll probably give you an additional 100. Ooh, neat. And then uh, Eric Clay's your shark killing that monster. Another 50 right there. Actually found its weakness. I'm trying to remember any uh -huh. other. Any other highlights we did? I think I killed the... Oh! Enemy. You did. So, 50 points there. And then, Karnoff, you knocked that monster unconscious. I'll give you 50 there. Yep. And then, Beerlo, you shot that guy in the head. So, I'll give you 50 there as well. All right. Like, so the, what's... Coolest, the, the coolest moment was taking out the, that those squadron of chaos... Infant, or chaos... Space Marines in one volley. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, that was badass. Or in one turn. Yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> what Ma a surprise round. Yeah, yeah. Because Ma, right. yeah, Ma just finished them off. Someone did initial damage and the mob went, bam, bam, dead, dead. And now you pretty much killed the front squad or yep. the remaining of it. And then that frog, I'll give you guys another all 100, 100 XP for that frog going crazy. That was pretty funny. I think that was, that was probably the highlight as, as well. <laughs> it, 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 it ate its buddy, and then it ate its handler, and then it ran off. You guys didn't have to deal with that. And that was gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna be an awesome monster. It's gonna kick ass, and then like, and then it wasn't. <laughs> it was just not for the enemy. In the opposite direction, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome for us. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone on the board. Uh, I. Er Eric what Lady. happened to mine? I deleted oh, mine. it. Oh, okay. That was... All right. And clear the board. Sorry. I got duplicates. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know why it does that. And then it makes it hard to discern which one is the correct one. 
I want to sit here and mouse over each one. Like, oh, that has a yellow square. This one doesn't have a yellow square. So. Uh, it's probably because you selected the entire group. No, I didn't do anything. I thought we were stopping here. Yeah. You guys want to stop at this encounter? The beginning of the encounter? That's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's a better sure. place to stop is at the beginning than halfway through. Yeah. It is right at the hour time limit anyway. That's yeah. true. What you guys right. think? It probably won't last a round. Probably, uh... Well, no, this is we'll the one see. that's going to last, like, eight rounds, you know. True. This is yeah. the one that's going to kill half the squad. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't. This is literally like four Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You say shouldn't, but dice rolls happen, you know. Right. I mean, I was going to aim at their backpacks and blow them up. You were thinking. But, but yeah, you guys encounter basically all the Chaos Space Marines that they had to muster. I really want to fight that champion in 1v1, but oh well. What champ? Oh, the champion. Sorry. Guys... It's all right. I mean, you want to see what kind of damage he could lay out? Since since he's dead, gone forever now. Sure. sure. Six hundred damage. No, nothing like that. Oh, ouch. Yeah. So. And that's Holy a medium shit. Roll, yeah. yeah. I mean, that that's about as the same damage rolling. I do. There we go. That's yeah. as powerful as a my multi multi melter. Five D ten plus. Uh, that's twenty seven. Yeah, it's I mean, about the same plus damage. 27. I would do if, if I two hand my sword and I'm powered up. That's about the same damage I would do, but without the pain. Mine, mine is 5d10 plus 5. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, uh, that's a wrap. I will see you all next week. Yep, see you next week. All, all right. right. All righty. Have a good one. Wait, are we doing it next week? Are we? Uh, 17th. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Yeah. I don't have a job. I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Let's get done. Well, the 24th. I don't think I will be present for that. I'm not sure. Maybe I will be. All right. All right. We might we might have 24 or 31st off then. Yeah. All right. All right. Later, guys. Yeah, let's, re later. Yeah, let's relay that to the channel.